This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. Red Hot Comic Book Movie News. Shooting up your butthole. The Weekly Planet. The Weekly Planet. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Weekly Planet. The first... No, the second... We're back. Uh, where we talk movies and <laughs> hey comics everyone. I'm back too. <laughs> and TV shows. My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday, and with me as always is my co-host. Welcome back, Nick Mason. It's good to be back. Oh. I don't know about you, yeah. but every day we're like, well, we're on break. Uh, you know, we just could take a couple of weeks off. Just I, in my mind, I just feel the listenership just cratering. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. like the listeners just, just falling off a cliff, yeah. literally. Wow. Yeah, and I, I can't save them. No? Nah? No. Nah. Because you don't want to. I'm, I'm on holiday. <laughs> yeah. God, you have to what get am a, I doing? Everything? You have to get a big scooping net or something. Right, exactly. Nah, but I'm like, no, we got gotta, gotta keep it moving. So it genuinely feels good to be back. Yeah. Now, for people wondering, we both had a very stress-free, restful, re-energizing break in the sense that, James, you and your entire family took turns getting COVID mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and my uh, car got washed away in a flood. So <laughs> we both were just uh, just... It's just, gone. Just drinking tropical drinks <laughs> on the beach is what we were doing. That's exactly, for, yeah. For two weeks. So the content, of course, didn't stop over at BigSandwich.co, as I'm sure people would know. Mm. We actually did a ghostwriter commentary, which is up there right now. If you don't know, it's like our private Patreon. It's linked below. Uh, that was fun, wasn't it? A bad movie. Oh, you doing that spiel. Yeah. That was fun. But it was, yeah, it was a good, it was, yeah, I had a lot of Am fun. I not allowed to do the spiel? No. It's 2022, Mason. I'm doing the spiel. All spiels all we're the We're going to get the audience back. That's right. I'm, so, I'm saying, do it. You should. I, I'm, why did we waste the first thirty seconds of the show? We could have started doing spiels. Also, I guess we should point out, like, we start doing things before we come back. Obviously, like we've been recording caravan of garbage and doing mm. big sandwich stuff and whatever. So we've and been push ups. Yeah, and push ups. We've been doing stuff push ups for a week, and we're looking good. Let me just tell you that much. Uh, it's really going to kick in any day now, isn't it? Yes. Anyways, this week it's very exciting because we're going to do a, uh, at the after all the news, we're going to do a brief hot, hot quick news where we catch up on all the stuff that we missed. Watch out. Watch that's right. But there's more relevant uh, and, and st- stuff that, uh, that really takes precedent, don't you think? Mason? Pertinent. That's right. Uh, we're talking about Peacemaker. We're Hot, about... thick news. Well, that's good. It's current and thick. Oh, I don't like that either, actually. I don't like <laughs> it's it. It's news stew time. Ugh, gross. Mm. It's got bits of ham in it, maybe. <laughs> no, that's spam. Oh, no. I said maybe. <laughs> you did, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're it's talking... got unidentified bits of things in it. That's dog sick. Anyways... Fast, we're talking fast head casting, <laughs> Mortal Kombat yes. news, uh-huh. uh, mich- uh, delays but not dismays, uh-huh. uh, some Bond casting, uh, the Batman, and then we're gonna we're gonna fire off some um, you hot, know, quick some hot quick news, and then of course we're going to go through all the. We're eating our way through the hot <laughs> news stew. Oh, I'm choking it down, and then of course we're gonna do the big. <laughs> Towards the end, it's gonna get a little bit cold. You'd be like, mm, a lukewarm, it's like solidifying, lukewarm this. news stew, <laughs> jellied news stew. Gross. Now, where have you put? Oh wait, I was going to talk about the. Sorry, and then all the big releases of the year. We're going month right. to month for TV and film. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so where have I put? Not it? including January because that's happened. Yeah, Scream, I guess, and maybe yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. Kingsman on that. Where have you put? Arnold Schwarzenegger put up a tweet where he was dressed as Zeus. I think that's probably a Super Bowl. It's ad. a Super Bowl ad, isn't it? But it tricked me for a second. Yeah, me too. I had to look it up. Yeah. Initially, I'm like. Is this a Black Adam thing? Yeah, right. Because I'm like, no, because it looked too fake. It looked like it was yeah. either that or a Rage Shadow Legend. Oh ad. yeah, or yeah. also it could be both. To be honest, really, yeah, that's true. it it's, could absolutely be both. It could be Rage Shadow Legends first Super Bowl ad. Oh, very good. Is that is that is Rage Shadow Legends like medieval no, stuff? Yeah, I don't know. It's big enough where like they've already had Super Bowl ads and yeah, they've been right. doing it for years. I, I I knock back like an ad a week from Rage Shadow Legends, you know, and I'm not against it, but like, what is it? <laughs> What is it? And it's not enough money. Tell me what it is and give me more money and I'll do it. You Let me I mean? do an ad where I say I don't know what it is. <laughs> and I don't like it. I'm not going to look into it. <laughs> I, so I, at first I was like, okay, is it Black Adam? Yeah. Or is it like another – because, you know, one of, one of Shazam's powers is Power of Zeus. Yeah. Uh, or is it – a ra- uh, uh, love and thunder thing, a mm-hmm, Thor love mm-hmm. and thunder thing because maybe it's the, the, the yeah, Norse yeah, yeah. Pan- uh, the, uh, the uh, Greek pantheon comes in. And then I'm like Super Bowl ad. Yeah, Super so. Bowl ad. So that's coming up mid Feb. We'll probably we'll do an episode. Great, I'm excited. I think it's same week as Uncharted. Well, let's do Arnold Schwarzenegger as Zeus updates until until that's until that. Well, he was Hercules, you know, and now he's Zeus or whatever. Hercules, yeah. And that's how it works, isn't it? Anyway, he was also a kindergarten cop. He was, mm. not in the sequel though, or only the sequel. I can't remember. Anyways, listen. Deadline is saying 
that there's a really good chance, uh, they spoke to James Gunn, he said there's a really good chance that Peacemaker Season 2 is happening. Is that, did he say it's a really good chance? Really good chance. Did or, he spell it a really? He said really. Okay. Like the way Paris Hilton would say it. Did he say really? He didn't say really. Really. Not a really, really good chance. He didn't say that. Well, then I don't understand him. Yeah. So, well, it, it's definitely getting another season. For one, it is the biggest streaming show in the world currently. Oh. I guess even beating out and just like that, which I actually have, I'm doing a podcast on. Is that Recap still episodes. going? Uh, one more episode. Okay. Suggestible in the city if you are interested. I do it with my wife. Uh, and then also we do the podcast also. Anyways. <laughs> Mate. Wow. <laughs> Anyways. They're also apparently in the early days of developing another spin-off. From the su- a, with a Suicide Squad character, Ooh. which leaves Harley Quinn, yes. Bloodsport, King Shark, uh, Weasel, or Ratwoman. So which one? King Shark. You think so? I think so, yeah. All right, then. Although, I mean, do you get Stallone to do the voice? Yeah. Will he do it for a series? Mm. Did He come, He didn't come in for mocap, because that was Steve Agee, right? Steve Agee, don't okay, say right. Yeah. Well, I mean, they already got Steve Agee. Mm. He would do the mocap. Maybe, I mean, you could you could presumably, you could get Stallone in for a day and yeah. record an entire season's worth of dialogue. Definitely. So, I mean, maybe. I don't know if I want but to would, But here's the thing. Would Stallone not do it because it's TV, even though it's HBO Max? No, I think he would. I yeah, don't right. think it's, he, he does do, t- he did a boxing show a few years back. Do you did remember? He? he was like, this is Rocky, but real life. People might uh, know me from Rocky. I was boxing. But I'm also I'm in real life. <laughs> People see me now, they realise I'm real. <laughs> That's all they know. Hey, you, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Am I in real life? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Case closed. He's also a lawyer. <laughs> or a cop. Yeah, both. <laughs> He's Judge Dredd. He's dressed yeah, as Judge, Judge Dredd. Dredd. There you go. Um... I, re- I mean, I would guess King Shark just because he is. Because if you do blood sport, yeah. it's just another guy with a gun That's true. show. But I feel like James Gunn is, I mean, he's good. Oh, he's another and gun guy. Look, you haven't watched this yet, have no, you? I haven't watched it yet, no. It's incredible. Oh, People have said, are we going to do recaps? No, because I'm just going to enjoy a show. <laughs> How dare I'm you? I'm just going to enjoy one How show. How dare you? Well, it's, well, I'm deciding which one it is, and it's Book of Boba Fett. You have to watch <laughs> and enjoy Book of Boba Fett. Oh, can't I just be lukewarm on it? Can't I just think it's okay? Can I just be like, why did they just make an episode of The Mandalorian in the middle of this series? Are you up to date on that? I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you? Okay, right. Last week's episode was just like, this is just an episode of I The heard Mandalorian. That. It was very good. Can I ask you, let me ask you this. Have they finished Have they finished filming season three of The Mandalorian? I believe so, yes. Do you, you think that they just took it out? Do you think they just in? took an episode of The Mandalorian and put it in there because they're like, nobody's watching the book of Boba Fett and we've got to get, get, get some characters I mean, people, people like. It's definitely possible. Yeah. Because, uh, but it also, it does lead into... This is a slight spoiler, I guess, but it does lead into whatever Boba Fett is up to. Right. But also, like... Could they have just done that? Yeah, they could have, because they do flashbacks anyway, so, like, whatever. Yeah, yeah, right. Anyways, whatever. That's my personal conspiracy theory, having not watched any of Boba Fett past uh, episode one. I mean, I think we always knew the episode count, but I don't know. Anyways, let's move on to more (laughs) news. They're just getting rid of one episode. Yeah, 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 why not? Yeah. Uh, This is from The Hollywood Reporter, and this was then confirmed. Uh, F10... Fast 10, the F10 key on my keyboard has a picture of a camera underneath, but it's not screen capture, so okay. I think it turns my camera on and off. Ah, good luck. You've got a little sticker. I got over a sticker it. over. I don't want look, people looking at me. I don't want people looking at me, Mason, all day. But there's a reason I'm not on YouTube much with my face. I don't want people looking at me. Mm. Uh, that Jason Momoa is has joined the cast. Oh. Things as the rock is out. Who do you get? Who do you get? A, you need a big, beautiful boy. Mm. What do you What do you tell Taylor Lautner? No. Oh. Uh, who else is big and beautiful? Um, the boy reading this. The boy view- <laughs> listening to this. <laughs> That's nice. That's yeah, really it's sweet. very, really um, nice. Yeah, yeah. But no, Jason Momoa. Uh, do you think he's going to be the villain? Uh, who was the last villain? It was uh, What's-Her-Face again. Fuck, man. I- <laughs> Come on. No, it was John Cena. Oh, yeah, it was John Cena. But it was also the, the other, the lady. Yeah, and another nerd. Like a Zuckerberg nerd. Or oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He was German, I want to oh, say. Yeah, right. I don't know. <laughs> Charlie's the Ron also. That's who I'm thinking of, the lady. Yeah, the lady. Yeah. Am I losing my ability to know words? Couldn't tell you. Because you're losing the ability to analyse whether I'm correct. losing words. Correct, correct, correct. Mm, really well, makes you think. But like that, it's that movie, see no evil, hear no evil, except the specifics of whatever you just said then. You know what I mean? Yes, That's exactly. That's what's going on in our lives. Yes. Mm. Do you think they're going to, like, it, it's two, because there's two left in the saga. Right. Is there enough time left? To make him the bad guy, and then switch over, and then he's the good guy. In the, and then in the they world. all, and then they get like twelve very buff men to, I guess, beat up Charlize Theron. Who's the only <laughs> yeah, consistent? Her up again. 
bad yeah. guy in this? Maybe, yeah, okay. Is there enough time? I think there is absolutely enough time for him to come in as, whose brother is he, though? Oh, great question. Because he can't be, I, I feel like, initially I'm like Dom's other brother, but I don't think there's enough room, I don't think there's enough wiggle room in those flashbacks for him to be like, I have yeah. another brother. He could be The Rock's brother, I guess. Yeah. I mean, he looks more like The Rock than John Cena looks like Vin Diesel, even though they spray yeah. painted them the same tan. Would they would they explain why uh, they didn't mention him at all when The Rock went back to his his family? Oh, that's well, he's an outcast, isn't he? Yeah, because he's too. Did you? Have, there was never a, of a there was guy. never a John Cena explanation, that's though, true, was yeah. there? So you know, mm. what do you expect in the world, Mason? At this point, not much. Good, but I hope yeah. you're expecting a new Mortal Kombat film. Were you expecting that? I really wasn't. If I'm it's been a year, nearly a year, uh, and they've confirmed <laughs> Oh, they went due for one. All right. This is by a deadline. Jeremy yeah. Slater is writing. He's apparently worked, not apparently, he did. Uh, he wrote the new Moon Knight series, which Ooh. we'll be talking about in a bit. Uh, so, yeah, I guess maybe they'll do a Mortal Kombat in this one. Okay. I mean, that was like. They're going to bring in Golden Boy. Is Golden Boy coming back? Who's Golden Boy? The Golden Boy. Oh, he has Golden, Golden Arm Powers or whatever. Yeah, Golden, Golden Arm, Arm Powers. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. that was his yeah. Mortal Kombat unlocked ability or whatever. That's right, yeah. Yeah, that was a good movie. <laughs> Wasn't it? No. Correct. Well, that's some fun moments. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Mortal Kombat name only, though, you know what I mean? Mm. Anyways, there you go, getting another one. Delays. Mm, Kino. Kino from Ninja Turtles Mortal 2. Mortal Kombat in name only. Oh, mm, very Kino. good. I thought you meant from Ninja Turtles 2. Remember Kino? No. no that's a good movie. Anyways, del- no, it's not. Delays but not dismays, Mason. I'm just saying Mortal Kombat has enough characters. You don't need to bring in another guy. Well, there you go. Yeah. So would you say that of every new Mortal Kombat game then? Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, delays. In Mason. fact, they've got they've got enough character models from previous games as well. So just bring in the old character. Exactly. Models. There was a time when they just like give Sub Zero a different color. Yeah. That's what they used to do. Mm. Give all the other characters different colors. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Different Sonya. There is different Sonya. It's called Cassie. It had a daughter with uh-huh, yeah. something. Anyway, yeah. delays. Go on. But not dismays. The famous segment of the show. Uh, hopefully, few and far between this year, mm. where we talk about what's being delayed. But we don't want people to dismay. We don't want them so, to feel dismayed. Exactly. So the Hollywood Reporter have uh, confirmed that Mission Impossible 7 has moved from September of this year mm-hmm, to mm-hmm. July of 2023. That's a long time. But That's this, nearly of course, a year. this, of course, has now pushed back Mission Impossible 8 from July 2023 to June of 2024. I also saw that Tom Cruise's new movie that he's shooting in space, an international <laughs> space station, but uh-huh. they said apparently only some of it's filming in space. And I'm like, what wow. do you, Why? I mean, why any of it? That's my sure. question. Yeah. Why don't you just use, like, mm. green screens and they're like, yeah. space? They're like, Tom Cruise, your, your, your bones are turning into dust. And he's mm. like, I don't care. Mm. I've reserved bones. I have a drawer full Oh, he's of got them. additional bones at home. <laughs> like, he's got backup bones at home. Okay, yeah, right. where they come from, you'd have to ask him. I don't, honestly mm. don't know. The sea. Yeah? Yeah. Well, okay. just, I just go to one of the, our boats mm. and there's just some spare bones. <laughs> wow. The, yeah. That's amazing. Boat bones. That guy does it all. Yeah. Uh, including, I don't know if this is in hot quick news. Okay. But uh, rumours abound that maybe he's going to be in um MCU movie. Yeah. so there, Probably there, not. There might know. be. Yeah, so there's rumours that, uh, well, there's going to be a bunch of cameos in Doctor Strange is um, filled with cameos or whatever it's called. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Doctor Strange and look at all these cameos. I don't mm. know. What's the name? What's the thing, Mason? I've forgotten words again. Or is that you? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So there's going to be an Avengers team from another dimension. Yeah. And the rumour is that Tom Cruise is going to be play because Iron Man. Because he maybe was going to play Iron Man in the like 90s. the 90s or yeah. whatever, but I don't know. That'd Do you be, think, yeah, that'd yeah. Be, that'd be okay, I mean, I maybe. I mean, yeah. he's, you know, he was Austin Powers for a second. Yeah, that's he's right, not, he was. He's not, he's not above dropping in for a, nah. for, a, for a gag from time to time. But here's the thing, which would disappoint me, is if he shows up and he's just in like a Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man suit. I want him in a be- well, I want him in a ninety style suit, okay, like a terrible yeah. looking suit. Okay, just something bad. And you get like Brad Pitt as Captain America and yes. whatever and whatever. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Just two men in big crash helmets, <laughs> <laughs> shaking hands. Yes, that's right. We're friends in this dimension because mm. it's the nineties yeah. and we're love and life. Yeah. What's a nineties reference? Hypercolor. Hypercolor, everyone. <laughs> uh, but. In other news, in delays and not dismays, mm. Morbius. Oh, I can't wait, mm. but I'll have to because it's supposed to be out by now, but it's been moved to April first. Yeah. <laughs> oh, because of April. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. So everyone's um, thinking about that, and <laughs> you know, I've been, th- I've actually, honestly, been thinking about it a lot. And the thing that I've been thinking about it most is the bit in the trailer where he's like. 
is like in front of the train and the subway, and he's just flapping like a like a like a like a chip packet in the wind, just like a discarded chip packet. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. But There's that a bit of the fun. train. He's like just flapping. I'm not looking. I'm not he's looking like at that. he's got a sort of gliding hover power, and he's just yeah, cool. Yeah, it's cool. It is <laughs> I cool. like the way you're doing it. <laughs> Like a sheet that's not really like pegged to the line properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no movement in the elbows. <laughs> just all just hands. flapping, just flapping hands at the wrists. It's great. Uh, Barbara Broccoli, who's uh, who heads up um, what's going on with James Bond, essentially. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Confirmed that Idris Elba is part of the conversation for the for the role. Oh my goodness! I again, I think he's like ten years too late. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. He looks great. Mm-hmm. He could definitely do it, but yep. like you're gonna need like ten years of him. You know? Yeah, right, right, right. Which makes me think you'd cast like mid 30s. Mm. But, you know, he's a name. Yeah. He's good. We'll see what happens. Yeah. And then we'll watch everyone get upset. It's going to be good. <laughs> maybe you'll just do one. Maybe you'll do one. Maybe that's, that'd be, wouldn't that be cool if they just did like. Just one actor. But I mean, I don't think they would just because they, you know, the, 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 the wisdom these days is everybody wants a franchise, yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. wants an arc. But I re- I think that could be fun. I agree. Just different actor every time, but you'd have different to like, era. And you'd have to like. Refamiliarize people with it. Like I if you did so, that, yeah. you'd probably do it as like a TV show, like an anthology. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, maybe. Well, it is owned by Amazon, but apparently they're not allowing that to happen. Well, well, but well. we'll see. The Iron Fist of the Broccoli's. Wow, yeah. big, big green fist. Because <laughs> right. of broccoli. Yeah. Did you know? Do you know what the long, the second longest comic book movie of all time is soon to be, Mason? Avengers Endgame. No, that's the longest. Oh, uh, um, 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 don't know. Soon to be. It's Morbius. No, it's the Batman. <laughs> oh, it's going to come in right. at two hours and 55 minutes, not including credits. Second longest comic book movie behind Endgame. Uh, the Hollywood Reporter have also said that they've already screened a four-hour cut. Oh. Uh, which, which I think is also good news if they're trying that, which means maybe we'll get like an even like an extended cut. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And if the movie's good, yeah. I'll, I'll have an extended cut. Mm. You know what I mean? I'll, like, I'll see more of this, please. So, yeah, that's good. So if that's like if they've whittled it down to three hours yeah, because that's the best, you know, stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. then that's good. Yeah, but also maybe this this holds the potential. We could get we get the three-hour version at cinemas and we get you, instead of that you can just get the one hour that they cut out, mm. just nonsensical, just, just snippets. <laughs> yeah, like scenes that end abruptly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfinished CGI. Characters that aren't in the other version. <laughs> Right, yeah. Whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but speaking of the Batman, uh, Caravan of Garbage is, of course, back this Tuesday. And if you are highly anticipating all things Batman, uh, not to give any spoilers, you might, want to, you might want to swing around on Tuesday just to see what's going on. You know That's what I mean? Right, yeah. No spoilers here, though. Mm. Let's all have a good time and move on to... <laughs> I've actually called this shotgun some stuff, but that's not right. Hot quick news. Watch, watch, watch. Yeah. The long way to return. <laughs> <laughs> Too hot. Too hot and very quick. Okay, so Spider-Man uh, No Way Home has become the sixth highest grossing movie of all time. Ooh. I also think uh, it is now the spoiler time for that is over. Yes, yeah, I mean, especially... openly doing interviews. <laughs> Tom, I mean, you know, Tom Holland is spoiling stuff, which isn't normally a very good yardstick. Yeah. Because he'll spoil stuff minute one. That's right. But I think I think he's been, mm. speaking of cracking the whip, yep. Marvel have definitely cracked the whip on him. And I, 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 think, I think, yeah, if the car... They're all doing interviews. Yeah, but yeah. That is like that's true. Yeah. It's absolutely happening. Um, I think everywhere in the world has now had a chance to see yeah. it, um, which is good. Now, what were you going to say, spoiler wise? Oh, sorry, it's the sixth highest grossing movie of all time. Not a spoiler, but I just mean we, we're just going to spoil it at some point. Oh, at this point, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, right, right. Yeah. And there we go. Uh, Moon Knight had a trailer. Yeah. We actually did a Moon Knight book club, didn't That's we? That's right, you did. For yeah, a, a big sandwich uh, where we looked at uh, uh, we looked at a really cool Moon Knight comic and talked a bit about the history of the character and mm-hmm. other adaptations that they tried in live action or whatever. Um, what did you think of the trailer? Uh, I was very excited. He thought it was cool. He was excited. Everyone, I did think it was cool. He and thought I was it was cool. About. You're trying to make fun of me. I'm not but making I've... fun of you. I think you're cool too. Thanks, man. Yeah. Do not... Oh, what level of sarcasm are we at? What I don't level? Know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it looks good. I, you know, um, but as per usual, maybe we'll settle into whatever accent Oscar Isaac is doing. I think it's all right. Yeah, it's I think okay. we'll be all right yeah. with it, won't we? Yeah. yeah. It seems like they're doing. Why would you call me more? Why would you call me that? You call me more. Call me a different name. Um, what you call me more? I think they're doing. That's like... not my name. <laughs> they're doing that song. I remember the song. They call me Stacy. They're, they're, they're call me Jade. That's, That's not, not my name. name. That's not my name. Yeah. Um, so... A real name. Yep. Fartzilla. <laughs> 
That's right. That's what they, but they faded out on most radio stations. Yeah, they yeah, got yeah. to the end and it just stopped. And she was like, just to be clear, <laughs> my full legal name is Fartzilla Huntington Whiteley. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right, of the Huntington Whiteleys. Really? Jason Statham is my brother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> so that song went. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, no, it's true. Cool. What are we talking about? I've forgotten. Moon Knight. Oh, yeah. So, uh, cool. Looking forward to it. Uh, we probably will be doing recaps yeah. of that. What, what's interesting? Which Collings who had a yeah. piece will, hope, will hopefully do. Uh, they seem, they seem to be going, I think we mentioned this uh, on Big Sandwich, but I, they seem to be going with the magic suit, like it's some sort of magical. Or dream or, sequence. Or, or dream something. sequence. We don't, yeah, we, we, we don't uh, know. Yeah. We'll find but again, out. Again, I, I, love, I love the trope of a uh, man waking up, he's driving a truck, he's holding a gun. How oh, yeah. did he get there? That's how did he get there? We'll yeah. find out. Mm. Uh, also, we had confirmation of Jedi Fallen Order 2. Ooh. That was confirmed along with two other EA, uh, I think, Respawn Star Wars games. One being a first-person shooter, and they reference things like like Dark Forces and Dark Forces Two, mm-hmm, which mm-hmm. would be awesome because I fucking love the Dark Forces series. Wait, so they made? Did they make reference to like we're making games in those styles? Yeah, like that. Loved that era. So they're not saying okay, we're going to tie them somehow into no. Okay, right. I mean, I like the ba- I I there have been other Star Wars first-person shooters like Republic Commando, the new Battlefronts, mm-hmm. and the old Battlefronts. I think you can also play in first and the person. mid-period Battlefronts. Exactly, but um. That would be super cool if they did something like that. Yeah. And maybe they did a Kyle Katarn, but probably not. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And also like an XCOM-style strategy, something, something. Anyway, good. Point is also Jedi Fallen Order, good game. Yeah. That's getting a sequel, not surprised. Also, in a huge... I mean, give us fast travel if you wouldn't Yeah, oh, yeah. Other than that, give us fast travel, then, that's, then you've absolutely nailed it. So uh, Pixar's Turning Red. You know about this one? It's nope. a, there's a big girl turns into a big panda. She's like the Hulk, but a panda, nope. right? Anyway, it's a movie. Okay, great. Uh, it's heading straight. <laughs> oh, this is not real. No, it's real. It's a real movie. Oh, it's not real scenario, but it's a not real really movie real that's life. Coming okay, out. Right. Yeah, uh, it's heading straight to streaming on Disney Plus, which would make it the third Pixar film in a row wow. to do so. What is this? What's going on? I mean, they own Pixar, but what did they do? Yeah, right. you know, is this some sort of internal drama yeah. between the head of Pixar and the head of Disney, or something? Like Are they the, looking to push because, like, they're in-house Disney animations? But, again, they own Pixar. Yeah. But, like, it's, but it's sort of like a separate kind of entity yeah, to animation. Yeah, yeah. But they'll put out, like, Encanto and, yeah. like, Frozen and that. But Luca, this, and I can't remember what the other one was. Because uh, I remember an era where if you said, hey, you want to go watch a Disney movie, people would be like, not really. But yeah. if you said, oh, do you want to watch a Pixar movie, people would be like, yes. Yay! 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 And an ice cream. And an Yay! ice cream. No, no Yay! ice cream. And then we throw bottles off a, a, a bridge no! at cars. Yay! No, Mason. Yay! <laughs> throw bottles at batteries. Woo! Oh, no. We're fueled by ice cream and rage. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is it's interesting that now Disney are like, like I – I don't. I don't know if Pixar saved Disney or like certainly helped. Yeah, like saved their reputation in mm. terms of producing quality. But yeah, it's interesting now. They're like, yeah, all the, and I, I like. I don't think. I don't think we've reached the point where. Well, I think we have. Pixar is just producing average stuff. No, like. like I think also the other thing is the Disney stuff has definitely gotten better. Oh, that's probably true, yeah. I'd say they're probably on par a lot of this stuff. Yeah, yeah. But there's also that you know that point where you... You'd, Just adjusting my mic, everybody. You'd look at an animated thing that looks in the style of Pixar yeah. and you'd squint at it and go, does that have the Pixar logo on it? Oh, no, it's planes in the style of cars, but um, it's, not a, it's not a Pixar. So, you got us, oh, yeah. you know, so. How does that universe work? Don't know. Don't know. <laughs> Interesting. So there you go. Uh, Eternals also scored the biggest MCU movie debut on streaming, Ooh, not bad. which is interesting because Black Widow, of course, went straight to streaming in addition, in, addition to the- in addition to theaters, which tells me two things. Uh, one, uh, a lot of people just didn't care to see it in the cinemas but were happy mm. to watch it on streaming. Yeah. And two, this would probably push any kind of sequel or spin off plans that uh, they're planning. Like it will give them an idea mm. of what they want to do yeah, if yeah. they haven't already decided, which they probably already didn't have. that Eternal's juice. That's right. But also it wasn't Black Widow originally. It was like twenty four ninety nine or something. That is true also. And That's interesting, yeah. Free it. Uh, yeah. Point of clicking. Free point of clicking. Mm-hmm. Free point of clicking. Do you want me to do that joke? I don't know what it is. No, you know, like it's not free or whatever. I'm oh, sure. no, people get it. Now nah, let's do okay, new let's jokes. Do it. Oh, We're doing new jokes, jokes. All new jokes. All new jokes from now on. No callbacks, no snake eyes, none of it. We're oh, moving. Oh, actually. Yeah. We will do snake eyes. Well, we'll now have that to push it to now next week. Right, we'll have to push it. Oh, we'll see if we can get to fit in this week, but that's not a joke. Yeah, that's, that's my real. Point. That's for yeah, real. Yeah, anyways. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, we also got our first look at Leslie Grace as Batgirl. Yeah, we did, yeah. She's uh, wearing the Batgirl of Burnside, the kind of uh, 
sort of homemade hipster looking suit. It's got I think that it looks good, yeah. Jacket that, you know, with the buttons across one side. Mm. Do you know what I'm talking about right yes, now? Yes, I do. Good. Yeah. What do you think? Good. It looks good. You were mad about it. You told me you were mad about it. You said this is so I don't like this, you said. I can't put my finger on it, but I don't like this. That's what you said to me. Now that's what you What said. I said. Oh. Is that what you're gonna say? Yeah. Yeah, I did say that. No, nah, it looks good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyways, um I've just written here very briefly. Uh, oh, oh, oh sorry. Sh- I forgot. Yeah. Oh, I was quick. No no old jokes. This isn't a joke. A joke. <laughs> this is a structure. <laughs> this is a serious structure. A structure can't be a joke? This one isn't. The Eiffel Tower. Is that a joke to you, Mason? <laughs> I don't know. which. What am I defending here? I don't know. <laughs> which side am I on of this? I don't know, but I like it. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll get a few out of the way. Gotcha. <laughs> we had like eight so far, so that's good. Too hot. They've all been too hot. Uh, speaking of Batgirl. Uh, just I've just been here, just <laughs> hot little hands. He's got a nice, a nice cold bucket to mm-hmm. put his hands in after each segment. <laughs> There's nothing in it. It's just a cold bucket. It's been in the fridge. <laughs> so... Um, Speaking of Batgirl, though, uh, Joss Whedon, of course, who was originally working on this. Boo! Uh, not to talk about this too much, but he came out and did a very... Hot quick booze. A very weird... Boo! It, <laughs> did a very weird and personally damaging interview. He did I a thought. lot of telling on himself, didn't he? Why, <laughs> Why did he do that? I don't know. Just take your money and go. Weird interview. Weird. Strange. I read the whole thing. I'm like, what is... Th- Why would you do this? <laughs> this is this is worse. Yeah. Than, mm-hmm. Like, none of this is... Like, like vindic. Like, uh, I mean, I guess in some sense that like he did admit like that he'd done some bad things, but a lot uh-huh. of it was like I didn't do that, and that's not. I don't think that's yeah. true. When actually, I'm nice. <laughs> sure. If anything, everyone was mean to me. And what a lot of the things I did were cheeky. Yeah, I'm a cheeky boy. But there were a lot of women around me, and I had to sleep with them. I'm like, yeah. It's like they're ste- it's like they're stealing from you if you don't. <laughs> Why did he do it? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, we also got a title for the next Lord of the Rings series, which is coming up. It's called The Rings of Power. Watch, 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 wow, that's watch, watch. Mordor hot. <sighs> I guess Sauron, I guess Sauron's going to be like a person as well. Oh yeah, that's cool. Mm. All right, you ready to go? Wouldn't it be funny? Oh, if this came out and people were like, I think I think I've said this before. Wouldn't it be funny if this came out and people mm. were like, is that all right? It's billion, a, oh, this, show, billion, oh. this billion dollar show. Yeah, that it's would pretty be. good. Remember the old one? The old, remember the old one? I remember the old one. Orlando Bloom was in it. He's like, oh, I got all this uh, shooting all the orcs and that. I got a lot of arrows. Yeah, and my axe. They'd say who? The fans, <laughs> the true fans. Okay, so <laughs> in what capacity? What's They're the all setting? discussing it. Okay, They're in a big roundtable forum, for, uh, forum, like every, the Council of Elrond. Every fan of the Lord of the Rings movies. Like okay, they've been flown in at great expense. It's to like New hands Zealand. across America, but it's yeah. every Lord of the Rings fans of the movies. They've been flown into New Zealand. Okay, they're they're near Hobbiton. Yep, and they're just discussing. They've been brought in by Amazon. Yep. To, to, to discuss this new series, it's cost them a hundred million dollars to bring everybody in, <laughs> and they all take a vote, and they're like, "Yeah, we remember the old one." We like that well, one. That was good. Remember the on my axe. You know? I, I don't know if this is relevant, but I was young then. <laughs> Do you think that played a part? Like, I was easily, like, amused by things. Very impressionable. I mean, objectively still very good, I think. That's just mm. me talking. Oh. But, you oh know, are you there? I'm, there. I'm here. I'm yeah. a big fan. Yeah, well. Yeah. Anyway, do you want to talk about all the stuff coming out? Yeah. Let's start. Watch. We'll start in February. Things is that where we're... That's hot, quick news over? Yeah, that's Folks, over. that was hot, quick news. Which is not February yet. But it will be when this goes out. That's true. No, it won't. No, it'll, it'll be the 31st. Yeah. God damn. What's going on? Anyways... February, here's what's coming up. No looking back, James. Don't think about all the mistakes we've made I agree. in our lives and in this episode thus far. I like that. I like this uh, this new you. Thank you. I mean, any version of you is, like, acceptable, but this one Thanks, I like. Thanks, man. Slightly. That means a lot. <laughs> Moonfall. Oh. Seen it on Monday night. So oh. I'm very excited to hit, uh, to hit up, I think, IMAX to oh. see the moon attack the earth. Uh, I'm just going to look at the moon. Yep. Just get into nature and look at the moon. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think you're going to have a better experience because the movie apparently isn't very good. Wow. And it's like the Independence Day people and et cetera, except it's not the mid-90s, it's now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Patrick Wilson. Yeah, he's good. Halle Berry. Very good. Won an Oscar. Third funny character probably. Like be like, oh, my God, is oh. this happening? Is this for real? You know, oh, that character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Whoever it is, Josh Gad, I don't know. Yeah, right, yeah. Do you want to check the Moonfall cast list? Please do. Find out the third funny guy. Moonfall cast. Third funny guy? Oh, yeah, it is. It's John Bradley who played like 
the book nerd from Game of Thrones who, oh. who, who, who was Jon Snow's mate. Who didn't burn to death in his, yeah. uh, in his, in his library as I predicted. That's right. Oh. I fucking nailed that. I mean, I saw the trailer, but you know what yeah, I mean? Sure, I was like, there's sure. a third guy in that. There's a the third guy. I saw th- I saw at minimum three people <laughs> in this trailer, two of whom were very famous to me and a third person. Is this for real? <laughs> yes. Wow. Yes, I'm Patrick Wilson and this is serious. And I'm Harry Halle Berry. I'm also serious in this too. And that's I'm... me. Oh, no. This, this, these thrusters aren't working or something. Anyway. <laughs> well, they're working too well. <laughs> the moon's being pushed back too far. <laughs> The moon's being flung out there. It's thrown off everybody's horoscopes. Everybody's mad at me. Is that how horoscopes work? Yep. Great. Yep. Death on the Nile. It's coming up. Oh, yeah. And? I don't know what. (laughs) I don't know. Yeah, that's right. Have we not covered it? That's correct. They're they're editing out everybody. That's the problem with ensemble movies now. They've got to edit out everybody who gets (laughs) cancelled. Remember Zack Snyder replaced a whole person in his movie? He CGI'd a whole new person into that. Oh yeah, zombie the, the, movie. the zombie movie. Yeah, Tig yeah. Nataro. Oh my god, putting a Tig Nataro in three roles in <laughs> Death of the Night. Put Tig in everything. She's great in Discovery. Why not? I agree. Love Tig. That's good stuff. And of course, then we've got uh, my favorite. I think my most anticipated movie for February is Uncharted. Mm. You know what I mean? They're really selling that hanging off crates bit, aren't they? <laughs> yes, that's true. Mm. I mean, what do you mean? I mean, James, what I mean is... What do you mean? You're saying that nothing can top Prince of Persia in your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean... I think Prince of Persia was fine. You're you're going to swathe up Tom Holland? Mm. You're going to do that? Yeah, I don't know about that. Mm. I don't know about anything. But I do know this. Go on. Uh, The Walking Dead season finale also starts in February. Oh, so this is is this a series finale? This is yeah, it. but there's like Rick spinoffs and I don't okay, know. Right. And then I think is the there's other one more than one Rick spinoff. Is Fear the Walking Dead going? Look, if you want a really good zombie show, mm. Black Christmas, Black Summer, what's it called? In Black Summer, yeah, yeah, incredible. Mm. Two seasons, harrowing. They just kill everybody you like. <laughs> just like it's nuts. It's fucking insane, mm. and it's very good. James, if you want a good zombie series, I don't. Everybody's on their phones out there. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Have you tweeted this? Should, shouldn't I? You could do a little cartoon. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, you're standing in front of a tree or the moon mm-hmm. um, and you should be looking I'm, at I'm it. like, hey, everyone, look at the moon. But everybody's watching moon It's fall. rapidly <laughs> receding for some reason. <laughs> but and everybody's watching moon fall on their phones and that makes you think, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah. Jeez, what a world. It's yeah. 2022. Is that a new t-shirt? I don't know. <laughs> Some of the clothes, my nice clothes, I don't wear normally when you see me because I have kids yeah, right. and they roll me in dirt like twice a day. <laughs> so I, <laughs> the one so of, I went out yeah, today. Right. That's why you're like, that's a clean. Look at these fucking shoes, mate. Look how crisp these are. Oh, those are crisp. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wear them like three times a year. I've seen those before. Yeah, and they were crisp then, and they're crisp now. That's incredible. (laughs) Does is it that one of your kids like? crouches behind you and the other one like clips you in the chest yeah. in the front and drops you onto the ground. But it's not the ones you'd think. No. It's the infant that clips you in the air. Yeah. We and need the... someone sturdy to fall over. Yeah, that's true. I'd yeah. crush my baby. Yeah, that's true. You know what I didn't anticipate in being a fan? They just roll you into it. <laughs> you know what I did? They're trying to be, they put it to tr- they've dug you a grave out there. They're trying to put you in a grave. Hey, Dad, we dug you two graves. One for you and then a second one for you because we're going to cut you in half. <laughs> and you're like, that's not the way it goes. And then and they're like, okay, boomer. <laughs> Anyways, what I didn't anticipate in being a parent yes. is how often I would say at least once a day that one of your kids steps on your balls. Like it happens. You've definitely mentioned the so ball much. stepping before. Uh, to you or I don't know. Maybe probably a great tweet of that. Yeah. But uh good stuff. Uh. Anyways, let's move on to March. Um Moon Knight. We talked about it. Yeah. Good mm-hmm. and good. One at a time, one a week for six weeks, eight Something weeks, like that. ten weeks, hundred weeks. Six, hope it's six. And then, of course, we have the Batman. Mm. Mm. Very excited for the Batman. Mm-hmm. My God, that's that's all I have to say. <laughs> but just like this could be it, Mason. What do you mean? A good Batman movie? Oh, again. It's been ten years since the last one, I guess. Dark Knight Rises. Like a solo Batman movie. I mean, we've had we did the Snyder stuff or whatever. Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah. Did you see that article this week about Ben Affleck's version? Who are you going to see? Did you see the Dark Knight Rises? I mean, vaguely, I vaguely recall it. Yeah, you vaguely remember. But um, 
the I was on YouTube then. It's all gone, but I reviewed that and everything. There's mm-hmm. I'd had videos then. I'm like ten years on YouTube this year. No, eleven. I think I started in 2011. With this current channel? Or no, no, because no, that first one got deleted. It's gone forever. Oh. But anyway, what happened to those videos? Are they on a hard drive somewhere? I don't have them. They're gone. Ooh. They might be on an old dead computer. You know that stack of laptops? It's probably on the bottom one. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Anyway. There's probably like a Chinese version of YouTube that has them all. Yeah, probably. Anyways, um, so the Batman, uh, sorry, they talked about Ben Affleck's version and apparently- Who's they? Uh, sorry, um, the guy, the, Matt Reeves, who's directing oh, yes. the new one. And he said it was more kind of like Bond-esque and he was like, I want to do my own version and whatever. Right, right. Which is fair enough. So that's what he's doing. Okay. Uh, also, The Lost City is coming out. That's the Channing Tatum, Sandra Bullock one. It's like oh, yeah, that looks fun. Yeah, yeah, Brad Pitt's whatever. in it. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. that's cool. Mm. And that's cool. All right, move it along. Move is it along. Is that your new catchphrase? That's cool. I think we should give you a new catchphrase for the new year. Let's workshop a few. Okay, but... what do you got? You got something humiliating for me? I mean, I hadn't come with one prepared, but I can work on it. <laughs> Please, if you could. Yeah, yeah. April. Uh, April 1st, of course. Morbius. Perfect. I mean, we have to say it because of the wider the spum universe. That's true. We're going to support the spum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the Spider-Man um, some, some universe. Imagine this, James. A big, big can, big can of spam says "spam" on the side. Though. I can imagine Pretty that. Pretty good, right? I'm loving it. Yeah. I'm loving everything and then about the that. The lid's open. Yep. Jared Leto's coming out. Oh god. Yeah. I saw a tweet today that was something like, "Everything we gave Jared Leto, we should have given to John Leguizamo." Yep. And I'm like, hundred percent. Yeah. That's dead on. Mm. And then I copied it, and then I just wrote it out myself. So I'm getting all the accolades. Nice, great. That's what good, I do. Cool. And the then f- you had that guy killed. And then I had that guy killed, yeah. and then I got a job at Fuck Jerry. Anyways. <laughs> Sonic. Is that guy still around? Let's Probably. not look it up. It doesn't matter. You got a bunch of money, I'd imagine. Um, Sonic 2. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Idris Elba stepping into the role of Knuckles. That's right. That's that's okay. Well, am I, in my eyes, that's good, I think, isn't it? And then, of course, we've well, got... Well, I mean, you know, obviously it's, it was not for me, but you, you've you watched this since with your kids. Watch a couple times, yeah. At least times, one of your yeah. kids. And they, yeah, they it's good. I mean, enjoy. yeah, it's, it's like a, a solid kids movie. Okay, great. Yeah. Right. I mean, I do love seeing James Marsden. Yeah, so he's in things. Not? He's in um, another show we're going to talk about in a bit. Have you seen House of Gucci yet? No. Mm. I don't think it's hasn't come to streaming, so I haven't. Yeah, right, right, right. But I will. I'll see it with my eyes. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff currently out that I'm like, oh, I should see it. But I should see it's... King's Man, but I'm not going to the cinema to yeah, see Yeah, it's King's exactly, Man, yeah. You know? I, I, at this, there, there was that brief period where I'm like, yeah, I'm confident in going to the cinema. I should see Scream 5, mm. but I haven't. Uh, Nightmare Alley, I would like to see Nightmare Alley. Oh, has that been out here? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just shut off. For January, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, because you got COVID. So you, no, I, you got no, COVID. No, you got COVID, so I couldn't see any movies because you got COVID. And I, I was I'm doing it to honour you. James, you got COVID. I was trapped in a car that was floating down the street, all right? <laughs> Those are the two things that happened. That's the two things we did. That's how we spent our summers. <laughs> Uh, remember summers I, put a, I put up some sails and su- I put out some oars. Summers as a kid were magical, but now it's just like, this is terrible. Right? A terrible thing has happened. Yeah. Has befalled me. It's not It's not that the days are hot, it's that the nights are also hot. So there's yeah. no, it, you just look at the, it, down in down in Melbourne at, at the very least, it's always like 30 Celsius for like hot seven days in a row. Yeah. And I'm like, and then it's like at night time, 29. Yeah. Too hot. Too hot. Mm-hmm. Too hot. Upsettingly hot. Hey, the sun, what are you doing? Right. Why are you hot at night? Mm. Is this the moon? Is the moon doing this? Must be. We've got to get rid of the moon. Got to get rid of the moon. Let's push it out yeah. to sea, wherever <laughs> it goes. Whatever's out in space. Mm. I don't know. Fantastic Beast 3. Oh, yeah. Mike I guess, Nicholson. I guess from this, yes. uh, we'll do that Harry Potter episode that people keep banging on about. Last two. We're going to knock off those last two Harry Potters. And we're done. Yeah. And we're retiring from Harry Potter. <laughs> then we could redo. Then we could do three Fantastic Beast movies in a row. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, I guess then we do Caravan of Garbages, I guess. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. You know, like J.K. Rowling, I'm like, I mean, and there's so many good people that like did work on those. Mm-hmm. Like I watched that special that they did or whatever. And I'm oh, like, yeah. so many delightful friendships and really talented people work on this. Why are you, J.K. Rowling? Everybody was secretly in love with everybody else. Yeah, like why filming? is J.K. Rowling like laser focused on this? Like, th- like why are yeah. you doing it? Anyway, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we've got the unbearable weight of massive talent. Yes. That's the Nicolas Cage movie where he plays himself where he goes to a private island because a guy hires him because he's bankrupt and the guy's a big Nicolas Cage fan and he has to reenact mm. all his movies or something. Yes. And what's his name's in it? I was going to say Oscar Isaac, but not him. No. Um, the other one. Pedro, Pedro Pascal. Pedro Pascal. <laughs> I say that because they're brothers maybe. I don't know. <laughs> they seem to get along. They seem to get along. In a way along. that brothers might. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. It's really nice. I like nice things. They did a – Ethan Hawke and uh, Oscar Isaac did a little video where they watched the Moon Knight I didn't trailer. watch that. What was that like? I mean, it was just them going, ooh. 
we're in this. Yeah. That's hey, look, me. that's us. Hey. <laughs> that's us. That must be nice when you're like just acting after all these years and you see yourself in a thing and you're like, that's us. That's us. Look at me. Do it, mate. Yeah. Look at me doing now this. Now look at you. Now look at you. I'm glad you're next to me. Uh, mate. Oh, they, you're here as well. <laughs> are, we, are we in a movie now? <laughs> you're filming this. Do we have to watch this later? Who are these guys? This, it's them. I'll take care of it. Because they're being filmed. This is us. <laughs> Anyways, Kenobi. Before sunrise? <laughs> Maybe Kenobi in May. They reckon oh, yeah. maybe for Star Wars uh, Day. Is it? Is, uh, who's, who's been cast in this recently? Uh, the dude who played Han is in no, it. No, no. Kamal yeah. Nanjiani is okay. in it. Okay. Uh, who's it? Uh, Owen Lars. No. Uh, Ewan McGregor's actual wife. What's her name again? Oh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead. She's in something. Yeah, she's, she's in a Star in Wars thing coming out. Ahsoka. Ahsoka. Right. That's cool. But is she going to be ben, Obi-Wan Kenobi's real wife, secret wife? Oh, my God. I would love Ben be Kenobi have a secret wife. Huh? Because no, too... in a way, she's his secret wife. I mean, unless wife. they age her up, she's too old. She'd be too young. But then again, he's an old dog, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. He's an old you know, he gets yeah, a bit yeah, lonely yeah, out in yeah, the yeah, desert yeah, and yeah, et cetera. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what I'm really. You know you're an old dog. Well, of course I know. That's me. <laughs> an old dog, a dirty dog. <laughs> I'm a dirty dog. I don't like Hello this. there. I don't like this Kenobi. I don't like oh, this. You think I can ru- <laughs> Do you think I can ruin your expectations for Obi-Wan Kenobi by the time it comes Been out? A creep. By being dirty old Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Peeping Ben Kenobi. Oh, yes, please. I think there was a weekly yeah, yeah, post about right. it already. Mm. Um, I'm, bit, I'm uh, looking forward to like less Tatooine because it's Tatooine City, mate, at the it moment. It really is, yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. And, that's, and, that's, and that's also interesting because I think they have done some interesting stuff with like the Tuscans or whatever, but mm. I don't mind Boba Fett. A lot of people like it kind of down on it, but oh. I don't mind it. Anyways, uh, Doctor Strange in uh, Look at All These Cameos. Mm-hmm. That's also going to be that month. Excited? Yes. How many cameos are we going to get? 100. Yep, I agree, 100. A crisp 100 cameos. That's a good amount They're of They're going to count them off in the screen. Yeah. They've, they've, gotten the, uh, they've gotten the Adobe Premiere file from CinemaSins and they've yep. changed the text to number of cameos <laughs> and they've put the ding in. And they put it also at the top of the movie because you know what you're getting. Yeah. You know what you're here for. It's yeah. not going to be a surprise. Uh-huh. These are the cameos. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, then we've got DC League of Super Pets. Oh, yeah. That's an all-star cast right. as well. Yeah. That's, yeah, cool. I'll take my kid to that. I, I wouldn't go to see that, but um, I will. I'll mm. take him to see that. Then we've got the Bob's Burgers movie. Oh, yeah. I'm still on season one. I'm liking it, but I got sidetracked watching other television and Mason got COVID. I had to send him some I didn't care get packages. COVID. I will never get COVID and I will never die. And I didn't send you care packages? But if I got COVID, why didn't you send me any care packages? Because you're floating down the river in that car. I'm sorry. I was on my way to the supermarket, <laughs> and then I caught in that tidal wave. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, you Bob, Bob's Burgers fan? Yes. It's really pretty good. funny, yeah, yeah. I like it. And then we've got Top Gun Loser, Yeah, which is probably coming out this year. I guess it has to because every other Tom Cruise movie has been shifted away from it, it yeah. turns out. Now, Otherwise people might forget household name, Tom Cruise. I would never forget Tom Cruise. It'd be Cruise. like Tom Who's. No one would say that. Tom Whomst. <laughs> Tom <laughs> Whomst. I don't like that. I mean, it's better than Ben... Creepy bed Kenobi, but <laughs> so anyway, Dune. Yeah. This is interesting for me because we're probably going to do the Jurassic Park movies for Caravan of Garbage, and we do, and so we're getting Jurassic World Dominion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you famously have said that all the Jurassic Park movies are the same, and that Correct. is not true. And we're going to do the first three at least. Okay. And you're, we're going to prove that that's not true. <laughs> okay. And you're going to make sure that you know that. <laughs> so you're right. All right. Okay. All right. We're going to make sure. Fine. My one remaining controversial opinion will be quashed. Good. For the sake of content. I'll do it. I love that. Mm. Then we've got Lightyear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very excited for that one. Do you see also because Chris Evans is Buzz Lightyear Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. Tim Allen is doing a Santa Claus sequel series on Disney Plus where he's 60 and he has to retire. I thought he was a mortal. What's going on? Great question. What the fuck's going on in that universe? There'll be another Santa Claus at the end of the the. Contract or whatever. Yeah, but like, come on. Oh. You should get it. Like, if they make you like <laughs> like overweight and old, yeah. they should let you do that for like at least 200 years. <laughs> Maybe it's said 200 years in the future in the Mad Max universe or something. I don't Maybe. Know. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired of delivering these presents. <laughs> I mean, on the one hand, there's far fewer good girls and boys. Yeah. It's mostly war boys, yes, if I'm honest. Sure. But uh, so not the, good. Yeah. So, the, so there's fewer people to deliver to, but it's hot out there. It's hot as heck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I built that a... man threw a big spear at Rudolph, and, yeah. it, and it hit Rudolph in the head, and then it exploded. I did the also. I did the storyline where I built a robot again. I did that one. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Mm. You know what I mean, everyone. Yeah. He's looking at the camera. Tim Allen doesn't care at this point. Uh, then we have speaking of Ethan Hawke, the Black Phone. 
So Scott Derrickson, who was who did the first Doctor Strange, mm. and then he did uh, he was going to do the second, but he moved away. He got his start in horror. Uh, yeah, horror I've movies. seen the trailer for this. It looks very looks creepy. Very I don't recall. Good. I don't recall specifically what happens in the trailer. Yeah. but I do remember very icky. Oh, it's there's a the woman trapped. There's the a woman trapped in a room. Yeah, or a kid. A kid trapped in a room, and and on the phone, she's getting calls from previous murder victims. Yeah, is that right? And they're tell, they're out. trying to help her escape the room. Love that idea. Yeah, right. That's cool. And that's also a good idea for an escape room. The guy who worked at Spill something Carlisle something. He wrote it as well. Oh, remember Spill dot com? No, nope. it's good stuff. Anyways, oh. do you remember uh, Superdeluxe dot com? What was that one again? That was the one that had all those Brad Neely cartoons. Oh, yeah. Remember those guys? He never got, like, he's still working. Yeah, yeah. But he didn't get, like, his Rick and Morty yet. No, that's true, yeah. But I think he's, he will. Very good, that guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Professor Brothers. Washington. Washington. Which I think think was the real precursor to uh, Hamilton. You might be right. I think that's where the inspiration came from. That's very interesting. Mm. Might be right. I should have slipped it into Hamilton. (sighs) Just a very rude song. Just a rude song about (laughs) George Washington. (laughs) Also, Elvis, Baz Luhrmann's Elvis. Oh, yeah, cool. You in? Uh, sure. I'm not. Okay, right. <laughs> nah, why well, not? I, I, like mean, I guess by necessity it's going to be a jukebox musical of sorts. Probably. Okay. And then we've got The Boys. It's coming Season back. Season three of The Boys. And what's interesting about that is mm-hmm. uh, Jensen Ackles is playing like the Captain America type thing. Correct, yes. And other things going on. And apparently has a lot of the uh, – the the ideals of like the 1940s. So basically, he's a big racist. Oh, I see, right. So, you know, uh-huh. that's how that goes. Mm. Um, I didn't watch it yet, mm-hmm. but I got the box set of Banshee, which is the it's a TV series that uh, Anthony Starr was in before. And what's that about? It's about he's a he's a uh, he's a he's a uh, criminal on the yep. run, and he takes the identity of a. Um, of the the sheriff that is heading to the town of Banshee, ah. and he's like, "Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take because the sheriff's identity. dead." Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and he's gonna he's gonna he's like, "I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do do some crimes and but also uh, be a sheriff." Is it set in the past? Because no, it's, it's set in the modern day. It's like, "Where's your driver's license?" And he's like, "Oh no!" Oh, it's like an Amish town, apparently. Okay, there you but go. anyway, so it's, it's very it's like very brutal and bloody. Cool. But I've heard it's good. So. And still going? No, cancelled. Yes. Okay. He was also in Auntie Donna's Big Old House of Fun. He was, it's true. And if anybody at Netflix is listening, you're going to green light that? Or what, what? I've watched it like five times. Right, same. And not just because I want them to get it, or that is that, because I like watching it. It's very funny. God mm. damn it. Anyways, <laughs> makes me mad how funny it is, Mason. Mm-hmm. Boo, those boys. <laughs> yeah, boo, boo to them. <laughs> uh, next up in July, we've got Minions, Rise of Gru. Didn't that happen already? Didn't they do that one? No, nah, it's happening. It's going to happen. They did it, though. They did a Minions prequel, but that wasn't called – it was just called Minions. Oh. They're funny. They've I got some funny like stuff in it. they've done this. You don't you know. You should check your facts again. I think they've done this numerous times. They've done this your, 100 times. I'm check your bloody facts. I'll tell you that much, man. Bloody check, your check of facts and it's just me giving you the moon. <laughs> yeah, it comes out in July 2022. There is a movie called Minions. Yes. That also came out. Okay. There was a very funny tweet – you know, I think oh. what they should do with the minions. What's that? Memes. Oh, you think, think they'd so? be right for memes? But just put them in anything. Just put them in anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah. context. No context at all. Okay. Just like support our troops, and then there's minions. <laughs> you know? So I saw a very. Hey, fr- don't talk to me before I got my coffee. Minions. <laughs> you know? I saw a very funny tweet from uh, so Brian Lynch, who mm. wrote Minions, and among other things. Oh yes, he wrote. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find it. It's me, Brian Lynch. Minions. How about that? Eh? Oh, here it is. I found it. So Go it's from on. October of 2020. It's from Brian Lynch. He said, one time a lady on my block asked me what I did, and I said I wrote movies, and she said, anything I've seen? And I said, a movie called Minions? And she said, I don't know what that is. I don't have kids. And I said, ah, but you knew it was for kids, and we haven't talked since. <laughs> <laughs> so she tried to be like, no, I don't know what that is. Mm. Ah, that's great. Love it. Anyways, uh, then it's the... Uh, when you say you've never heard of Minions and you say it's for kids, Minions, that's the meme. Oh, that's good. And the... And the, and the, the it's got a the minions, And yeah. it's one o'clock or it's whatever. It's one o'clock and it's also one o'clock. <laughs> and the Minions... The Minions drinking a tea and a wine. Yeah, yeah. It's like... Mm-hmm. Perfect, perfect. Mm-hmm. Uh, Quizzical mi- Minion. Quizzical Minions. Mm. Uh, Thor Love and Thunder. Yes. There we Very go. Very exciting. Is that your f- biggest Marvel movie of the year? Most anticipated? <laughs> Probably, mm. yeah. Let's think about it. Then okay. we've got Black Adam right after that. Ooh. 
That's interesting. Yeah. And then in August, guess what's guess what's coming out? Arnold Schwarzenegger um, Super Bowl. No, ad, Mason, then, it's then... blank. It's a blank month at the moment. Blank month. Nothing, what's nothing? Nothing big anyway. Now, what month did you say? October? August. August. Uh, there would be something. There'll be some Star Wars, more Marvel TV or something. I don't know. Uh, just filling in the gaps here, mate. Just filling in the gaps. September, mm. we've got Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, which is <laughs> okay. like crazy to me because I'm like, oh, the Shrek universe is still going. Shit. Oh, it is? Yeah. There wasn't going to be, there wasn't a turn there. You won't no. be like, no, this is, a, this is a reboot. Shrek's happening. So that's cool. Wow. Also, the last one. First one, Puss in Boots. It's a good character. It's like Zorro, but he's a cat. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Next up, we've got the Lord of the Rings TV series. Um, biggest show of all time. Something, something. Probably all, the probably jokes all right. We did earlier. Yeah. October. <laughs> Hocus Pocus 2. All right. What was Hocus Pocus 1? Uh, like, um, it was like uh, Carrie Bradshaw and like Bette Midler, and they were witches, and it was like the 80s or something. And it's Halloween night and something. Oh, that's Hocus Pocus. Probably, uh, yeah. Okay, great. And then, so this is a real, this is a sequel to yeah, that. Yeah, it's like a Disney Plus thing. Okay. I think, I believe. Then we've got Spider Man Across the Spider Verse. Uh oh. Uh oh, indeed. Followed by, speaking of uh oh, uh, Halloween Ends, hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> So hopefully they can pull something out for that. I, I mean, it'll be the movie that the last one should have been. This, yeah. If anything's going to be a complete finale, I mean, it's, yeah. Why am, I, why am I saying that? They then? should have made it mostly a prequel. That last one of like the night he got away. Yeah, right, right. Because right. yeah, yeah. that part I found very interesting. Also, so as people have sent in, that was a Loomis. Like they make up to do to make him look like Loomis. Ah, I see. Loomis. I don't know. Mm. That's incredible. Yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, how, how should? What would you accept as a definitive end? What would be a satisfying end? Like, not that we particularly love this franchise or yeah. anything like that. Well, that was going to be my answer. I don't care at all. Okay, right. But yeah. uh, a satisfying ending? Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, I think... How he, do these things ever end? They don't, is yeah. the answer. I think they just have to, like... Actually, H2O, when they beheaded him... I was going to say, we'll probably have... Great. It'll have to end Even with though beheading. He, it wasn't him and whatever. Yeah, I know. it'll have to be a beheading... And then his head rolls out of the mask and they're like, that's definitely the guy. Yeah, that's the guy. That's his yeah. weird eye because he got his eye poked with a coat hanger. Yeah. Anyways, let's get him on our podcast, which is how this whole thing started. <laughs> that's right. Uh, next up we have uh, in November. The cause and solution to all life's problems. Correct. Podcasts. Uh, the Flash. Yeah. I don't know if you saw this, but Ezra Miller recently took to social media to denounce a very specific sect of the KKK, mm. um, which is good. Agreed. But it also was a little like, what is this going on? Oh, that's on? that standard Warner Brothers movie promotion. He had the flash ring on and all, so I can't imagine Warner Brothers would be too happy, <laughs> even though he is denouncing the KKK. Mm. But um, yeah, I think the flash fighting. Is the he K- all right? I think the flash fighting the KKK would be amazing. Be incredible, clean just, that up real just quick. Just tearing them to pieces. That'd be funny. But like, is he okay? I mean, like, is the first of all, is the KKK going after him? Secondly, oh, you think that's is this why? some kind of like, like. He's having Psychotic some kind of break. breakdown. What is I don't this? Know. Like, I don't yeah, know. that's anyway. I can't imagine Warner Brothers are happy, regardless of what is going on there. Mm. Anyway, um, I don't think I have to, you know. And also, know. M&Ms, watch out. Ezra Miller is going to get you. Is he? Yeah. M and M. No, the M and M's. Oh, yeah. Because of that, because they're, M&M se- they're not sexy, they're not sexy enough anymore. anymore. Yeah. Enough. Yeah. So Ezra Miller's going to punch him. But you, so you did find them sexy though? No. Your words though. Yeah, no, that's true. That's fair. <laughs> that's right. No new jo- no old jokes. No old jokes. <laughs> we just admit the weird things that we love. That we right. find sexy. Yeah. And we move on. Uh, then we've got Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. Tignataro is, is in this as well. <laughs> and Ant-Man and the Wasp. Tignataro, Shuri now. Yeah. Yeah, so Evangeline Lily was at a... Anti-vax, something, something, whatever. No. I get. I think. It, well, I don't think it was strictly anti-vax. It was more like you can choose. We're to asking get questions. And we're asking we're questions. Just asking and questions. We're just asking questions. And sure, yeah, that's all fine and normal, isn't it, Mason? So anyway, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. I just want to hear the Wasp talk about the time she met Taylor Dane. That's all. <laughs> that's right. Uh, so Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, though, uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how they pull any of this yeah. off, who takes on the mantle, where they go moving forward and so forth. Where are they now production-wise? Mm, good they question. They film stuff? They film stuff. Yeah, I think it 
It's fi- I think it's on hold at the moment because maybe someone got COVID again or something. But it yeah. will. It hopefully will be done by November. I would say. Mm-hmm. And following it up with that, we've got uh, speaking of Black Panther because the director of Black Panther, Ryan Coogler, who directed the first in this franchise, Creed Three. Oh, also Michael B. Jordan, also in Black Panther and Black Panther: Wakanda Forever, apparently. But Creed Three is directed by Michael B. Jordan, ah. and apparently it's Rocky. Free. Creed 3, Rocky Free. Very nice. Which is fine because Rocky finished up his story. And all the E's are threes. Yes, that's right. <laughs> all in Creed 3 and Rocky Free. All well, wouldn't that be Creed 33? It'd be Creed, Creed, three, it'd be three. Creed 3,333, <laughs> I think. Yeah, okay. Unless we're saying, unless 3, the, Creed, the word 3 is written as a word yep. and the E's in that are also threes. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So that's... Makes for a very confusing yeah. marketing campaign. I agree. That's what we want. A, a threed. A threed, exactly. We all like threed uh, yeah. about all of that. So Creed 3, though, kind of didn't expect it. Yeah. How, they, did, how did Creed 2 end? He won. And nice. then Rocky went and saw his son. Nice. Fucking absolute amazing ending. Loved it. Rocky was like, can I come in? I was my son. You, you look just like a grandma. Look at me. I'm Rocky. I'm actually just between you and me. I'm the actor Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> <laughs> just look at me. I'm, I'm real. Tell I'm me real. I'm real. I'm real. So you, you, do I look real? This isn't like, I'm not, this is not me like getting off on people telling me I'm real. I just need to know. I need to know. Yes, Sylvester, I think you're real. Guilty. <laughs> You're guilty. You're coming with me. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Get in the car. <laughs> oh, I like this guy. Stallone confused by reality. He's, he's making also, his own reality TV show, but he doesn't Judge understand Dredd. reality. <laughs> and he's also Judge Dredd, yes. Is, that, is, he, is his son still Milo Ventimiglia? Yeah, in that he was. Movie, in that yeah. Movie? Okay, great. Great. Love him. <laughs> Disagree. <laughs> this is an anchor of sanity, James. That's what this show is. And then in uh, December, first of all, so Super Mario Brothers is coming at the end of December. Uh-huh. Excited to see that, <laughs> I think. And but, but. Go on. Avatar 2 and Aquaman <gasps> both come out on December 16th. Whoa. What is that about? Who's going to flinch? And that's interesting. Because both of water J- something. Both water something, but also j- both James Cameron adjacent. Oh, that's true. Because James Cameron, of course, was going to do an Aquaman at some point, allegedly. No, that was oh, Entourage. Oh, no, not real. That was Entourage. Okay. You, you like to load up oh, reality no. <laughs> with television. Was James Cameron in an episode of Entourage? Yeah, he, he does was, appear yeah. in it eventually. We did it. We did it for yeah, Caravan of Garbage. Yeah. We've done one episode of Caravan yeah, of Garbage, yeah, yeah. And, it's, and it's that one. Yeah. And we did the Entourage movie episode. Yeah, God yeah. damn it, HBO Max. If you can bring back Sex in the City, bring back, bring back Entourage. Entourage. Yeah. I want to make fun of it again. You call right? it Oh Yeah. You call it Oh Yeah. Um, and then, like, I don't know, they all come back except one. It can be Turtle. That's fine. We don't need him. <laughs> we don't need him. Turtle had to go back to his home planet. That's right. Uh, what would you call it, though? I would call it... Um... Drama? Oh, yeah, drama could work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, what's his name? What's the Adrian Grenier's name? I don't know. No. Uh Vinny Chase. Yeah, no. No, I'd call it uh I'd call it we run this town, bro. Or bitches. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Either yeah. way. Yep, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um so Or Vinny's died. Vinny's died. No, that's the plot. That's not <laughs> okay. the title. Oh, and what do the they title. and what do they do? They're just they're just moping around Hollywood. Yeah. I mean they're all rich though, which yeah. takes the shine off on okay, they've lost all their money. On NFTs. Yeah. Oh, good. And Vinny Chase has died. Yeah. So they're just like. But then it turns out the end, he's not dead. And all their NFTs are worth a billion (laughs) dollars. So they're even richer than before. (laughs) Yeah, perfect. And they run this town, bro. They run this town, bro. Uh, Um, And the title, the end titles are just them as as gorillas, gorilla (laughs) NFTs. Perfect. I'm sure you saw that Fallon clip with Paris Hilton. Yeah, it looked like an episode of Black Mirror. That's why. What? That's why Charlie Brooker has stopped doing Black Mirror. The I think. Fuck. Is he happening. can't. He can't top anything anymore. And it just it snowballed all of a sudden. Yeah, didn't did, it? Did you feel like that? Like the reality just reality just went. Oh, Black Mirror. Hey, mm. let's just let's just get exponentially weirder over the span of a year. Are you saying you don't believe in the in the actual foundation technology? Behind NFTs and cryptocurrency, that is the future of transactions. I'm saying, James, it's tax free. You fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm saying, James. I'm saying. Look, if it's it should be better. Like, if this is the future, can we see something good, please? No. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> it's just fucking it, like why apes? Why? What are we doing? How did this get here? Great question. Anyway, that being said, I would love to see someone draw us as NFT apes. I think that would be really funny. I want them, but only me. Oh, just so you, just it. you. I own it. Oh, I see. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking we won't. Sell, if somebody makes it, we won't sell it. And I, I mean, know, nobody would buy it. But and look, I'm not like regret, if you can like turn a profit on this. If you can trick some fucking rube into like buying something, that's a rich really rube. worth nothing. Yeah. yeah, a rich rube. I should say. Yeah. Good on you. But like, come on. What are we? <laughs> and I know it's like, is it that different from like a car, like a classic car or a baseball card? Or a baseball bat. Yeah, but that's like, to me, it's like, it's that's a thing that you'd want. Like yeah. A physical thing that you want. Hell yeah. Yeah. Or a flooded car. Or a flooded car. A you, flooded classic car. Does anybody car. want a flooded car? Does anybody car? want a flooded <laughs> ca- classic car? I've minted it. You don't get it. <laughs> yeah. You just get a link. And I tell you a story about it. Look. Both John Lennon's kids. Yeah. Well, I think he only has two kids. Yeah. But uh, that he both. Knows about, but oh, he knows about. oh, mate. Yeah. They've both done NFTs recently, and Julian right. Lennon's one is just. It's 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 memor like John Lennon memorabilia. Okay. But you don't actually get the memorabilia. You get Julian Lennon telling you a story about the memorabilia. So it's like he's so a he fun- keeps the thing. Yeah. So it's like he's a you you pay for it and then Julian Lennon's like here's a funny story about John Lennon's fur coat. Great. See, I, that's really strange. Like for, an, for for fucking for a lot of reasons, but like I can I can like get my head around. You get a physical thing, yes, and you have the digital rights. But yeah, then yeah. I'm also like, well, why do you have the digital rights then? I guess if you have yeah. the physical thing. But I can, and I can also get around the idea of, um, you know, who started this? That woman who told the song "You're So Vain" and who it's what's about. She told one person it wasn't a physical thing; it was a oh, secret. Right. Yeah, it was she a did secret. this. Yeah, <laughs> sure, it's a woman's fault. I knew it. <laughs> but uh, I, I also don't. Like I don't oppose the idea of you know how they do like a charity thing and it's like you have you you have dinner with Daniel Craig and you have a chat or totally. whatever or like even like I mean he'd oppose it he would definitely doesn't want to do it yeah but uh, but like Tarantino's done the one where he like his NFTs are secrets about the movie Pulp Fiction and yeah. he's getting sued by Miramax yeah. or something for those but also he might own the scripts or something so yeah uh, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 but but like I don't. I don't oppose the idea of like you uh, maybe a charity auction and then you have a chat with Quentin Tarantino, you ask him questions or whatever. But it's like it doesn't have to be a yeah. The NFT is just the novelty yes element of it. Anyway, anyway, I guess currency is fake anyway. So what? The Whoa, fuck? what? Yeah, wow, the economy. You know, <laughs> it's just made up, man. Don't you even know? Uh, I mean, I know it sounds like that's tr- that's obviously like true. But it's like it's a cliche to say that. Anyway, but everything um, is nonsense. Anyway, nobody email in. Yeah, fuck e- off. Economist log off. <laughs> yeah. uh, but anyway, uh, but also if, if people want to check out uh, Dan Olsen of Folding Ideas has a video. I called. am making my way through that. Uh, it's called, very dense. Uh, yeah. yeah, have you made it all the way through? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's good. Mm. Anyways, uh, what's going to win? Aquaman 2? Aquaman 2, yeah. Aquaman 2 or Avatar 2? That is a great question because Aquaman has well, – Aquaman 1 is the closest to present day. Yep, and you have to see Aquaman 2 to understand Fast 10. That's true. Mm. Why is Jason Momoa's character in Fast 10 so soggy? <laughs> so, no. Do you think he was born soggy? Is that Meso's car he's driving? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Give me back my undrivable car. <laughs> I got a new car, guys. It's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's cool. Um, um, but Avatar 2, like, again, like, you couldn't rule out James Cameron. Yeah, and but maybe I, people are like, maybe there'll be, like, a groundswell of, like, nostalgia and people think, are going to watch Avatar I 1 again. I think we will see that this year. Yeah. And there's a new first person something happening. No, I think, that, and look, we're going to watch it again probably for Caravan of Garbage, and I'm interested to be like, what do I think of this 10 years on, do, how does on the, a TV? How does the visual effects hold up and yeah, so on Yeah, probably so very forth. well, but um, we'll mm. have to see on December 16th. Yeah. Interesting. Anyway, one of those could move to August when nothing is happening. Oh. Here's some TVs and movies that have no date. And by TVs and movies, I mean one movie and the rest of TV. Terrific. Clerks 3. Cool. Great. I am looking forward to Clerks uh-huh. 3. Yeah. Mason. All right. You like the Clerks movies, don't you? I do, actually, yeah. Uh, and then we've got Anne. Who do you think will be back? Everyone's Randall. back. Everyone's back. Dante. Everyone's back. Rosario Dawson. She's back. Is she? Yep. Huh. Yeah. Good for her. Good for her. Uh, and or. Kevin Smith's wife, is she back? Uh, Jennifer Schwalbach? Yes. I don't know. Yes, let's say. Uh, uh, Kevin Smith's daughter, is she going to be in it? She'll be in it probably. Um, Ralph Garman, he's always in all of his stuff. Nice. The Garman GPS system. That dude, who that, that new kid who was in Clerks 2, but now he's probably an old man. But he he run the he worked at the the the, the cow restaurant. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. And whatever, Great. he liked Lord of the Rings. Terrific. Anyways. Yeah. Justin Long. Sure. Nice. Ben Affleck. My name is Earl. 
All of them. Yep. Anyways, Chris Rock, Alanis Morissette. Ooh. Anyways, uh, Andor. A lot of people in those movies. I agree. It was yeah. the 90s. There were a lot of people in the 90s. Andor. Yes, Cassie and Andor. Sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. Halo. There was a trailer. There'll be a trailer probably the time this Andor, comes. Andor, if you ever think about Andor. that. Andor. I just think about it all the time, actually. I thought about it just then. Halo. There was a trailer. We haven't seen it because we were recording this before the trailer came out. Mm. But um, Halo? Halo. Yeah. House of the Dragon. That guy's name is Halo. Halo. Can you imagine? Andor Halo. Yeah, right. House of the Dragon. They got, those guys would never get along. I agree. What's House of the Dragon again? Uh, Game of Thrones. Oh, pretty cool side cool thing. Here we go. And he says... It's probably going to drag on. Is that okay. where we yeah, go? Yeah, probably. That? Probably go for a few years. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Marvel. That's I'm probably excited. coming out this yeah, year. Yeah, probably coming out this year. Want to see what her powers are? What's going on there? Here's what I think I am the most excited. Are you stretchy or are you not stretchy? Let's find out. We'll find out. That's uh, on the poster. Is she stretchy or not stretchy? We'll find out. The Marvel show. Is she like a bit of used gum? <laughs> yes. The Marvel show that I'm most looking forward to is probably She Hulk. Yeah, same. Because it looks different. Mm, I mean, yeah. Moon Knight looks really cool, but like, you know, we've had Daredevil and whatever. We've had hallway fights before. Yeah, yeah, but She Hulk. We've never yeah. had um, a bloody, bloody, bloody a law court fights, have we? Well, Daredevil again, but. Um, yeah, but no actual not fights. A fight. Not a fight. Not a full not a fist, fist fight. fight. Yeah. Yeah. Not a big time punch up. I mean, we watched that Lou Ferrigno m- movie and there was a. <laughs> that happened in. Uh, okay. That's right. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Look, we've okay. We've we've, <laughs> we've 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 certainly had you know a, a big green man approaches a um like a like a guard in a in a law court, and then a series of you know um, slow motion slow motion and ca- and a various various cables and various yeah. like various on, onset crew lift lift them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And hurl him across the screen. We've never had actual fights. You're absolutely right. Mm. Um, and that was a dream. Yeah, uh, a dream. the Sandman. The series is coming to, yeah. I want to say, Netflix. Apparently, the uh, we probably even did an ad for it. I meant to listen to it. The audio book for The Sandman. It's got, like, James McAvoy and various others. Apparently, it's very good. Oh, very good. Uh, next, we've got Star Trek Strange New Worlds. So that is the Spin-off Captain of Pike yeah. prequel series, mm-hmm. I believe. Then we've got Stranger Things Season 4. Oh. Then we've got Umbrella Academy Season 3. Oh, it's going to be interesting to see how they address the Elliot page. I don't think they are. They're just going to like. Just I think roll Elliot on. is going to remain playing Vanya. Okay. And they're not going to make it a thing. All right, then. Uh, then we've got West. That's acting. Then I we've know. got Westworld <laughs> season. First time we've seen it on Netflix, some actual acting. Wow, Mason. That's right. Did you I even watch. Uh, I watched Extraction, the Witcher? yes. Oh, you did? Yeah, I didn't watch The Witcher. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's The Witcher Blood Origin. And the Witcher Blood Orange. That's right. Yeah. Uh, then we got it's a refreshing, refreshing beverage. I do enjoy a Blood Orange, mm. not the actual fruit, yeah, as much. Uh, Westworld season four. Yes. Now that marks the end of my Westworld running gag. Not what a joke, gag. actually. That's why we wow. keep doing it. Because some would say you said earlier, all fresh gags, no old gags. So you should probably stop it now. Not a joke, though. I'm committed. That's to true. It. It's not. It's it's definitively not a, a commitment. Joke. Is not You've a joke. You admitted it's not a joke, <laughs> and a commitment is not a joke. Do you call my marriage a joke, Mason? Yeah. Okay. Always, every time. <laughs> and prop- to your face, to your wife's face, to your kid's face. I'm like, hey, kids, stop rolling him in the dirt for a second. I got something to say. <laughs> That's right. And then we've got. Uh, you know how you don't respect your dad. Well, here's something to not respect him further. <laughs> and then we got the Mandalorian season three, probably. Mm. I guess minus the episode they've, they've shoved into. Book yeah, of so Book it'll of be. Fate. Eight as opposed to, or Boba. they put a book of Boba Fett episode in <laughs> season three of The Mandalorian, it's just in the back there or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see the movie when the big Wookiee grabbed him? No, that was crazy, man. I've seen a still of the big Wookiee. It's the guy from, from the, the comics. From the comics. That's the it. The guy from the comics. All right, Mason. <laughs> I do enjoy the fact that um, big Bacta underpants have come back though. I, I respect those. They're big Bacta in a big way, aren't they? <laughs> What's the movie then? Yes. Or it can be a TV show. You could watch one thing this year. Only one thing. And why is it? Jurassic World Dominion. It's not Jurassic World Dominion. It's She-Hulk probably Yeah. because I like that Tatiana Maslany. She's great in everything. Also, whenever I say this, it always – I can't even remember, but the thing that I end up actually – like it's the, there's normally something not on this list, which is my favourite thing and whatever. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, for me at the moment, mm-hmm. it's probably Kenobi mm. or Batman or – Go on. Actually, the black phone looks really good. Or – like Doctor Strange looks cool, but I'm kind of not like – yeah. I think I probably will be more excited when they kind of gear up. Let's say Kenobi. Mm. I'm cautiously optimistic for Multiverse of Mandus only because I don't want it to turn into just, uh, again, cameo, yeah. cameo palooza, just a, just an absolute, this is what you like, isn't it? It is what I like, though. Yeah. 
It's Apparently, kind of, uh, Tobey Maguire is going to be in it as well. That's the oh. rumor, etc. And there you go. And now he has to be. Now he has to be because somebody thought it. Yeah. All right, should we move on to the next segment? Yes. It's time for what we read and what we're gonna read. I'm doing the thing. Like that? Big year of enthusiasm. How yeah. how far? When Hang you... on. Okay. Westworld. Nice. I was gonna say. Uh, normally, you operate at about forty percent. When you had COVID, how do you feel? How do you, what percentage do you think you were at? Here's what this is the thing about the COVID thing. Like, it didn't really hit me that hard. Mm-hmm. But I think, and but everybody I know who doesn't have kids was like, "Oh, I lay down for a week, I'm dying, or whatever." Yeah, right, right. And like, we're all vaccinated here at like ninety five percent or whatever, so uh-huh. that made a big difference. But it seems as if like you know, everyone I know who had kids who got it just just just, just carried on. on. Yeah, right. Not because they're like we're heroes. I mm. mean, in many ways, the hero is the, a parent is the greatest hero and job you could possibly do. Yeah, except in many ways, Iron Man is the best hero. No, he's not. And he's job. a drunk. But then and again, job, yeah. so are parents. That's true. That's interesting. Um. But, you know, because you just have to keep going. So it's like, like, would I have lay in bed for a week? Probably, if yeah, I could mm-hmm. have. Anyway. But what percentage? Uh, well, I don't I was, care about what your feelings oh, and your thoughts. Give me a number. It probably took me down to like 25. Whoa. Yeah. And I Whoa. was still doing a little bit of work because, you know, because you can't – I was still putting out some content. That's true. Repackaging some old rope <laughs> yes. on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love just the comments. Muck. I just, love the – You just mucked out the content stables. Some of these do really well. Like that Fantastic Four compilation is at like 325,000 views. Whoa. And that's cool. Mm. I should do that more often. Just put a bunch of cold crap together. Sure, you know yeah. I mean? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you just, it just keeps the YouTube algorithm. You can call like... it Caravan of Garbage Old Crap Edition. <laughs> Exactly. How's the Boba Fett one doing? Yeah, it's got 226. That's doing all right Not for bad. something that's already been released. Oh, here's a, here's a piece of news that we didn't mention. Oh, yeah. Microsoft bought Activision Blizzard. Well, they did too. That for, for like a company. $100 billion. Dollars, 70, yeah. $70 billion? Dollars? Yeah. Bobby Kotick was probably a beyond the out, I'd imagine, the guy mm. who runs it. Or... They're sticking I don't around. think they'd want him. Yeah, yeah. Mate. They own yeah. it now and yeah. fuck him. Yeah. He's the worst. He's out. And they just wanted Space Quest. Yep. So now they've got Space Quest. Which one's Space Quest? Uh, it was a point-and-click adventure from, like, the 90s. There was a bunch of them. Okay. 80s and 90s. 80s and 90s. You played a space janitor named Roger Wilco. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, anyway, Activision owns it. Oh, good. So now Microsoft owns it. Now Microsoft owns it. Yeah. Uh, apparently they're still going to let Call of Duty and all that go on other like okay. platforms because that that works well for the brand and you can cross-play. And, like, yeah, so right, 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 right. You know what I mean? I think this mm. is a new era of gaming, Mason, yes. and NFTs because I don't know if you've seen that, but a lot of companies are like, oh do you like and, do you like garbage? Do you, like, you know how <laughs> everyone who makes decisions in gaming companies, like the, the marketing decisions and like how to package games, is that we're all garbage. We're all, we're all garbage people. Anyway, here's some more garbage. Hey, imagine if you could imagine imagine if you had a sword, you like your sword in a game, you would just put another game. Imagine if you had an NFT of the sword, you could just put the sword in another game. That'd be amazing. Yeah. God. I mean, it, it's completely infeasible. And why would you do it? Why would another game let you put put a different sword in your game? They wouldn't. What? But what if the game? What if the sword had a completely game breaking element in a different game? You could just put it. in. Has the technology advanced that far? No. <laughs> But imagine. <laughs> imagine. I'm just saying imagine. <laughs> Anyways, this is the secret. Imagine you just had an avatar. You could put it in Call of Duty, but then you could take it and you put it in, I don't know, Kingdom Hearts But or I wouldn't, though, would I? No, but somebody well, – but you could, you could, though. You but could, I can't. Though. You could, though, if Disney just decided they – just just in, <laughs> in transferring your character from Call of Duty to Kingdom Hearts, it would just magically transform into the art style – of Kingdom Hearts somehow, automatically somehow. I hate how NFTs have dated this episode. Right? I mean, not the fact that it's all things to happen coming out in 2022. That alone yes. is, is like... But otherwise, this, this would have been an evergreen episode. I agree. Yeah. Anyways, if you're listening to this in the future, I don't even... I'm sorry. I don't even know what you're doing. Probably something <laughs> worse than this, though, I'd imagine, is going on. You're, in, you're, you're, you're toiling in a space mine, probably. <laughs> probably. Uh, anyways, um... You probably heard this uh, this week, but Mouse got cancelled from a particular school district in the US or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and just by pure coincidence, I went to get it. You a, voted to cancel I it. I did. I had and to. And then it got cancelled. I rang the school and I yeah, said, yeah. Oh, you better stop that. I've got a plaque from YouTube. <laughs> I'm a big deal. I never got my second plaque. I should get that. Anyways... Um, so, so I bought it because I went to look for it online, and you can read it online. But I'm now, like, Mouse, for people who don't know, yeah, it's yeah, sort yeah. of a, a comic book that retells the story of the Holocaust yep. uh, in the style of, like, anthropomorphic mice. Yes, mm. and cats and other animals. But apparently some of the characters say, God damn in it, so it has to be, it's out the door. Oh, and that's the reason why it's that's out the door. That's the reason why it is, yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. So I've never read it, and, like, you could, like, steal it off the internet for free, and I'm like, no, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to buy this because I've always wanted to read so it. So you could burn it. Oh, yeah, so I can burn it. And also, like, it's interesting because... 
if you look at the cover and it's like a cat's face and it's like over a Nazi symbol, I'm like, mm-hmm. if somebody who didn't know what this was saw this, would be like, what What are you, what's this? Yeah. What are you up to? Why are you buying this, <laughs> sir? But uh, no, I mean, it's obviously award winning and yeah, incredible. Yeah, so yeah. I, I am somewhat looking forward to, I guess, getting into that. But yeah, of course, right. I've also been watching Peacemaker, the Book of Boba Fett, yeah, a bunch yeah. of other stuff, which I'll be talking about other weeks. Very what about cool. you, Mason? Uh, I watch, I've been watching a bunch of stuff. I had a little, little, bit of, little bit of spare time. I've been watching a YouTube channel called Comic Tropes. I don't know if you've seen it. I know, I've been subscribed Cr- to Comic Tropes. Chris Trops. from Comic Tropes. Yeah, he's he's doing some great works there. Uh, he's doing sort of, he does sort of like, Really interesting long form essays about various like events in comic books, like you know the the storyline that takes place in the comic book, and then like the back you know behind the scenes drama exactly. of it. He did or, the like, Howard the Duck thing that you talked yeah, about yeah, he recently. Did, he did. Uh, well, he d- he's done stuff we've done, except his is very thoroughly researched, yeah, as absolutely. opposed to a lot of us, a lot of stuff we've done, which is like I can't remember a thing. Yeah, this maybe happened. Yeah, he did. There's one. There's one that's done quite well for him. Um, it's called Vince Coletta, the man that ruined a Jack Kirby's art. And Vince Coletta, if people should check this one out. Vince Coletta was an inker, so he's the person who does like the inking highlights over the top of somebody's pencil work in comic books. Yeah. Um, and he was always on, like he was, it was, he got a lot of work because he was always, like he always worked a deadline and he always got stuff uh, done on time. But he was bad is what you're saying? Well, primarily one of the ways he did that is if he saw a penciled page and he thought there was too much detail in it, he would just erase stuff and then just draw whatever he wanted. Oh, my God. Yeah, and, and like, a very short version. People should check it out. People should check out the full version. That is but fascinating. like, Jack Kirby, who, you know, famously Marvel DC, you know, yeah. legend, he, d- he would, like, do famously detailed pencil work, but then he would never... He would never read the comic book. He would never look at the, the finished proofs or anything or read the comic book yeah. like after it came out because he was just going to do the next thing. He just loved to work. Yeah. Or he was just obsessed with working. Mm. So he would never he would never look at an issue of New Gods or something like that and be like, oh, you took all the buildings out of the background <laughs> and just drew, just drew blocks. <laughs> good? You know? Yeah, gr- yeah. But eventually he figured it out. Anyway, it's a good video. Good. all the videos are good, really That's good. That's great. Well, the one that I've actually just recently put into my watch later is the unspeakable Bob Kane stole all the credit for creating Batman. Yeah. Mm. Um, and I like I know that story, but also this channel does like very detailed, as you yeah, mentioned, yeah. In, do- in depth dive. So mm. yeah, well worth checking out. Uh, here's some other stuff I've watched. Uh, let's see. I uh, I watched. I've started watching Yellow Jackets. Oh yeah, that's is, people have been talking about. That yeah, it's on Showtime jackets. in the US and in Australia it's on Paramount Plus. Yep, yep, and yep. it is sort of uh, it is. Um, Lord of the Flies Plus. It's like Lord of the Flies New Game Plus. Okay. It's basically in the the premise is basically in the nineties, uh, the Ooh, sort of the, the mid nineties, uh, sort of a, an all girls uh, soccer team mm. is on a chartered plane that crashes in the sort of the Canadian Rockies, and yeah. they, they go missing for eighteen months, and then uh, what 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 happened? What happened? Back what then? happened? Well, and then and then it's intertwined with the modern day. Somebody's trying to track down the people who were involved, like the remaining people yeah, who are still okay, alive, yeah, yeah. they're all grown up and adults now and they've put it all behind them and she, uh, she's trying to track down what happened and the, and the, ah. and the, the events sort of collide. And it's got a, uh, a very good cast. Very uh, good. It's a very, very it's, – it's, What's What did you say it was on? Paramount Plus something, something? Paramount Plus in Australia and Showtime in the US. So that's through Prime? You get it on Prime or you can buy it separately, yeah. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I – Got the free trial and I forgot to cancel it. Oh, yeah. But it's all right. I can watch Mark Wahlberg's Limitless or whatever that movie is called. No, Mark Wahlberg's a Highlander. Well, he's a Highlander That's now. all I have to say about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. There's no old jokes. No old jokes. That's just cold hard truth. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and also something I attempted to watch, uh, it's, a, it's a series that came out a while back and everybody was talking about it for a while and I didn't have whatever streaming platform it was on, but then it, it, it's on YouTube. I, I could buy it. Kind of, it was on sale, I think, and I'm yeah. like, I'll watch this. Uh, the White Lotus, do you remember the White? Yeah, yeah, I watched the White Lotus. So the white, out, so yeah. the thing about the White Lotus is, I got it, and uh, you are know, you understood it first time? No. Okay. <laughs> well, here's the thing. So I I got it on YouTube, and uh, you know, I I know there's some sort of mystery element to it, but I didn't know. I I don't remember it. I hadn't mm. been, had it spoiled for me or whatever. So I'm like, I'll watch this, and I watched the first two. I watched. I I was gonna say I watched the first two episodes. I watched the episodes labeled one and two. And I'm watching it and I'm like, 
Now, th- this this is some really interesting world building because they're really referencing a bunch of stuff <laughs> that I haven't that we haven't been shown. Yeah. Like this 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 one you know this one character he's talking about this he went on a wild bender the other night and I'm like oh this you know this uh, yeah. really really speaks to his character. I wonder if we'll learn more about that later. And he's and another character's like oh we. We didn't know this. This woman was working. She was in labor. We didn't know the whole time. I feel really bad about it, whatever. Mm. And then I'm like, I get to the end of the second episode and I'm like, I'm going to go on YouTube and I'm, I'm going to go on Wikipedia. I'm going to check this out. Turns out they've mislabeled all the episodes on oh YouTube. My so God. I watched like episode three and four uh, first. And I'm like, Are you going to go back? Yeah, I will go back. I watched it. It's I, worth I, watching. Yeah, I, I then went and watched the actual first two episodes. Yeah. But it it kind of took the wind out of my sails. I bet it's that. Yeah, I'm trying to look. Nobody's talking about this on YouTube, on Twitter. I'm just, I had a look as well, but I couldn't find it either. This is like that time that fucking, that we watched that really red version I of know. Fast and Furious. Maybe it's just mine. Like, maybe it's just. I bet it's probably just me and you. Yeah. Like that red version of Fast <laughs> yeah, and yeah, Furious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn. Uh, but I watched that and uh, this, I mean, again, really good cast. The the, the main guy, the hotel manager he's guy. He's very good. He's great. Aussie bloke. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. And that's the only reason I like him because he's Australian. You know? Yeah. Everyone else in that show can get fucked. Mm. Uh, no, it's very good and very well cast all around. Good performances. Yes. Do you know what's time? Should we do some I'm watching then? Justified as well. I'm rewatching oh, Justified. Because you, you want to watch New Justified when it comes out as well? Yes. To bring back Justified? Yes, that's right. Mm. Mm. Yeah. What would they call it though in the reboot? And just uh, like justified, <laughs> that's right. And no, just like fied, and just like and fied. just what like fied. My, <laughs> what did I, my joke was none of that worked. Anyways, what are we doing? We are doing another segment. I hope so. Which I like to call letters. Yeah, and it's not a joke. The classic one was letters. Oh letters, we love you. Some letters, they're only a day away. We're not here right now. We're going to do letters. Well, 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 yes, it is the letter segment of the show where basically you can send a Gmail to weeklyplanetpod at gmail.com where Mason will go through that mailbag or hit us up on Twitter at hashtag weeklyplanetpod. Mason, mm. what do you got for us? Uh, here's an email from Michael Miller. Hello, Michael Miller. It says, Miller. talk about Bluey. Oh, yeah. uh, Michael says, I love the banter about movies, but I'm oddly interested in knowing not only James's thoughts about Bluey, but if Mason has seen it and what his thoughts on it are. Much of the human isn't just for kids, and as a dad of two, it's my favourite show that my kids watch by far. It's true. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's because of your podcast or Bluey that I call my son mate all the time. New Jersey listener, thanks for all the laughs as I commute to New York City every freaking day. That's from Mike. You're goddamn right. I haven't seen it, but I see a lot of billboards for it. I'm like, I should watch it. It's fun. It's all on ABC something or other. Yeah. And I like I would say there's one criticism I would say of it uh, is the mum character in the season one doesn't get a lot of play. Oh, and then they kind of rectify a lot of that in the second season. It's because fun. she becomes a bounty hunter in the second season. That's right. Yes. <laughs> there's a bye, kids. I've got to go be a bounty hunter. Well, there's a very good. Uh, ep- there's a couple of episodes that are like are no words, and there's oh, one where it's bluey. like that issue of GI Joe where it's just ninjas. And That's sound the effects. one. That's exactly what I was because talking about. Because she became a bounty hunter. Because she became a bounty hunter. Yeah. But um. So basically, uh, yeah, it's Bluey's trying to stop like the rain flowing down the path, and it's like, okay. and they're like, it's it's just really fun. It's a really right. sweet and fun show, and it's like, it's actually quite touching in moments. And it's also if like if you like I hate Peppa Pig, I'm sick of Peppa Pig. Oh, I see. Like right. he only wants to watch Peppa Pig. Put on Bluey, you won't want to kill yourself when you watch it. I did see a clip where they go to the movies, and the dad does his little, he's got his little card, and he pays for the tickets and the thing. And I'm like, wait, where are you putting that card? <laughs> we put. Yeah, and his dog butt. Oh, he's in his dog, oh, his butt. dog okay. pocket. The only the only other fact that I know about Blue is that Dave McCormack, who plays the dad, is the is the, the, custard. Is the, the band Custard, which is which is a great Australian band. People should check out the band Custard if you get a chance. That's right. My favorite my favorite Custard. They, they were a great band back in the day. I think they you know they come and go. My favorite my favorite thing Custard ever did is they they had a they their their record company made them wanted to make them do a video clip. I think mm. it's for the. The song is "Just Looking for That Love." Now that's feeling. that's um that's um goes like that. Don't forget, don't, okay, don't, yeah, don't yeah. Goes like this. But they had a song called "The Woo." Oh, doesn't matter. Anyway, but they, I'll, I'll track it down. Their managers made them wanted them to do a um a music video, and they didn't want to do it because they're a nightmare. So they were just like, "Can you just here's the brief? Can you just like hire some male models to like." be on the beach and mime singing and playing the instruments or whatever and then just have like beautiful models and all that sort of stuff and they made it. It's all black and white and it's all very artful and then it got played on video hits which is like the local pop, yeah, yeah. you know, like the Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera at the time kind of thing and it got played for like a few weeks in a row and then clearly somebody looked up 
what custard looked like <laughs> and they just never played it again. <laughs> is, That's quite fun. Yeah. I mean, he's, I'm looking at this guy. He looks like a normal man. He does. He's absolutely a normal man, but he looks, he's, um, that, like custard look like pulp. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like disheveled skinny men in suits. Exactly. Like, that's, I think the lead singer came to my uni once. Did he? I mean, to sing. Started a fight? Not just, yeah, he started a fight. Wow. Uh, so there you go. Um, yeah, Bluey, check it out. I got to, uh, first of all, uh, happy birthday. The, to- the song is Aloha Tambourinist. Oh, okay. You check that out. Sila Magic on Twitter, who taught me the Tom Cruise um, disc trick. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's his birthday next week. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Says, Can you sing your classic birthday song? No callback, sorry. Yeah, no, sorry. Can't do it. Yeah, no. Yeah, so uh, I would love to. Yeah. But no. <laughs> but happy birthday. Yeah. Sorry, we don't, we don't make the rules. No, exactly. Yeah, no callbacks. And if we could, we yeah. wouldn't. This is an email from Patrick. Subject line, spit buckets. Oh, yeah. Hey, boys, long-time listener. I'm watching your Hawkeye recaps after waiting to binge the whole show and got to your question about whether Flor- Florence Pugh ate that mac and cheese or whether they had a spit bucket on set. I shot a TV show last month that required me to eat meat on camera, and being a vegan who hadn't eaten meat in years, I requested a spit bucket from the props department. Problem was, I never knew how to use the bucket without grossing everyone out or making someone hold a bucket that I could slop up into like Henry VIII. This meant I had to either A, speak with my mouth full, B, stop the scene, spit and continue, or C, soldier on, chew and swallow and be a team player. I chose option C. Yeah. Maybe next time I just hope the vegan world doesn't find out about this. You gotta be more famous. You know what I yeah, mean? If yeah, you're Tom yeah. Cruise and you're like, I'm not doing sugar or wheat or eggs. I will simply spit. Yeah. I will spit all day. <laughs> I don't even want a bucket, I'm just gonna spit. I'll spit on I'll spit in your mouth like a baby bird. <laughs> <laughs> It'll give you magic powers. That's right. That's gross though. Yeah, it would be ghosts. But good on you for doing the thing that, that, I mean, you know, also if you had have not done it, that would have been also fine if mm. you had have stuck to the veganism. This is from Keith. It says, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. What do you think the odds Mando goes to Jedi School to see Grogu right when it gets attacked by Ben Solo? Oh. I think the timeline is like 20 years, 20 to 30 years apart. Maybe it's a test run. Yeah, maybe. Ben Solo's Ben Solo's like, a little boy. Does a, yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and I, we saw that in a comic that happened as well. And Grogu wasn't there. But maybe he will be there. Mm. What's next, Mason? Let's have a quick look. While you're doing a quick look, Go on. I can do one from Matt Cronin who says, Hey guys, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. You're my favorite podcast. Thanks for all the laughs. I was wanting to do an episode about the CWDC TV shows or maybe a caravan of garbage on the crisis of an infinite Earth's crossover. I'd love to hear your opinions on all of the shows. Um, it's too much <laughs> for me, but I would absolutely do individual like story arcs or whatever mm, yeah, and yeah, caravan yeah. of garbage and stuff. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Great, done and done. They they haven't done what I you know what I would love a wacky musical episode of um uh, Superman and Lois. Oh yeah, because I love a wacky musical episode. It's true, you do. Yeah, Mister Mixus Pitalik shows up and he's and like they, everything's musical now. They did it in Supergirl, maybe probably. They? they did. They did a Flash uh, Supergirl crossover, which was a musical. Yeah, cool. Yeah, here's a here's an email from Paolo. Hi, James and May. So recently I had to go for an eye operation, which left me unable to see for a few days. As I couldn't watch or read anything, I began to revisit old episodes of the pod. I love listening to the Harry Potter recaps again, especially hearing about Mason's golden snitch pillowcase torture method. Just want to say a huge thanks for keeping me entertained and my spirits high during my recovery. All the best from Paolo. Wonderful. That is absolutely delightful and uh, well uh, done. P.S. Hopefully looking forward to the final recap in time for Fantastic Beast 3. Yeah. If not, I'd happily settle for another rack, Rat Pack caravan of garbage. Mm, We've got to knock off those Rat Pack know. movies. There's like two two left. Yeah, but which one do we do? Because some of them aren't the in. Worst some of one. Them, yeah, but some of them aren't in. Which one? Which, someone email in. Which one? Whichever one it has. has to be the worst, and it can't be one where there's like one rat pack. Because I think yeah, two yeah. of them in like Cannonball Run or some shit. I'm yeah. not interested in that. I want like an old school fucking kind of a rat single pack. rat. There's, a, I think there's two full, two more full rat pack movies. I think. <sighs> all right. So. All right. All right. Fine. Yeah. They don't even do well, but I'll do it. <laughs> I hate, them, a, we, I hate them and I don't, they don't do well. We could do a bonus one one week. We'll yeah, do an nah, extra I'd, thing. I'd actually more than happy to do it because um, they're terrible. I've uh, got one more here from Gabe who says, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. I just wanted to say that, uh, see if anyone agrees, but Peacemaker might be the best looking movie slash TV show I've ever seen. Maybe it's because the last movie I saw was No Way Home, which, w- which was shot in a shoebox, but, man, all the locations look and feel so real. It does definitely have that sense. As someone who hasn't seen it, do you agree? Yes, I haven't seen it, but I agree. Yeah. I nearly watched the intro, but I'm like, I want to save it until I can watch the good. whole show. Yeah. Uh, here's an email from Rain. 
Uh, gentlemen and Meso, thanks for recommending the Comic Pop Guys. Yes. On your Sal, channel. Ben, Ethan, Tiffany, yeah. I just got done watching their Maximum Carnage video and it was a tidal wave of nostalgia for me. I look forward to playing through their channel, then waiting impatiently for more. That's from Rain. There's a huge back catalogue there yes. as well. You'd be, you'd be going there for a while. Yes, Sal uh, was kind enough to do a fill-in video yeah. while I was on break. While well, Mason had COVID, he said, do you mind me stepping in? While well, Mason's got COVID. Does have COVID? And I said, all right, so I was okay. in a car and filled up with water. <laughs> and I hold my breath for two weeks. That's what happened. It's true. I didn't have COVID. That's all the email tweet I have. What do you okay. got? Anything I mean, else? I'm going to find one more email. All right, here we go. Start off. Fresh and fun. Fresh and fun. Five emails every week until I forget. Wow. Yeah, that's right. I'll check the news while we're going. Are well, you having oh. a look around? Okay, now here's, one. here's the last one. All right. Here we go. This is from Eric. Lied to my teacher for the pod. Love it. Hey, fellas, I'm a graduate student from Xavier, a school in Ohio, not the X-Men. At the beginning of this semester, I had a teacher tell us she often uses podcasts to help teach her addictions course. I, of course, recommended that she watch The Weekly Planet as the hosts are both experts in addictions. Apparently she wasn't happy, and I've started the semester off on a horrible note. <laughs> Can oh, I be the no. official bad student of the podcast? Oh, no. Yes, you can. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, funny, yeah. though. She would have maybe listened to a whole episode. No. <laughs> oh, no. It's all nonsense what we talk about. That's so nonsense funny. Stuff. Oh, you wasted her time so yeah, much. Yeah, that's right. Enjoy, enjoy your... She heard the theme song, yeah, enjoy, which we're getting rid of at the next year, enjoy remember? The, enjoy the D- minus you're going to get. <laughs> you're going to pass, but it's gonna you're going to be scraping it in, let me tell you. Sometimes you... um. You know, you just never bounce back with a teacher. You know what I mean? Very true. And let me tell you something. As a former teacher, yeah, there's favourites. <laughs> Straight up. Wow. Favourite years, favourite students. But a good teacher, which I like to think that I was, well, doesn't make it obvious. You know sure, what I mean? yeah, yeah, The yeah. trick is to find something about a kid that you like, even if you despise them. Yeah. You know what I mean? And sometimes there's always you, something. Yeah, and I mean sometimes, you know, you wear a T-shirt and it says, my favourite student is Eric. Or is it yeah. on the back, question mark? That's right. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. I tell Eric in front of everybody that, yes, it is Eric, in yeah, fact. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's cool mm. and normal. Um, yeah, you can, I just, this remind me of a, this is a brief story that's irrelevant, but let's do it. Okay, let's I remember do it. When I was, as long as it's brief and irrelevant, right? I was studying, I did like psychology in like year 11 or year 12, uh-huh. so I was like 17, 16, yeah. 17, I don't know. Anyway, and we had a, a teacher who was like, and it was the start of the year, and they were like, What's the answer to this question? Mm-hmm. Um, then they went, and I didn't put my hand up, and they're like James, and I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. And they're like, yeah. well, you think you meant smart, you meant funny, and I'm like, no, I didn't put my hand up. Like, I don't, I don't know, I don't have the answer. It's like, and it was like, oh, this is, you know, I got like a, <laughs> this is an outrage. Yeah, it's like you know, if you if you got to put in the effort or whatever, and I'm like. What the fuck is happening? Yeah. Like, I don't know. I'm, this is a new class. Why would I know that? Like, yeah. I didn't put my hand up. <laughs> and then I said that was a bad year, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> for sure, yeah. yeah. Just felt like a weird, like, I'm, I'm in it. But and that I'm teacher's like, dead now. Probably dead. Yeah. I'm like, what's happening? Mm. And I actually, I did see that. No, he's definitely dead. I, I cut his brake lines for <laughs> you. Oh, good, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I did see him. I plowed a flooding <laughs> car into him. <laughs> I did see him a few years later. Yeah. They didn't see me when I was... Just Ooh. out of school working at McDonald's. So oh, yeah. I was also at uni and I'm like, I cannot let this dude see me because mm. he's going to be like, I knew it. You didn't know the answer. <laughs> the reason you're working at McDonald's is because you didn't know that answer to that thing that I sprung on you. Also, there's nothing wrong with working at McDonald's. Mm. I just want to clarify Mason. I know. <laughs> That's where you would have gone in this, in, this, in this story that I'm making up. Exactly. So yeah. there you go. That's a thing that has happened maybe wow. in my life. Wow. Anything else? That's have you got a teaching story? No, I'm not a teacher. Yeah, but like something happened to you in class maybe. No, I never went to class. No? No, I never, not once. Too cool for school, literally. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Interesting. I mean, I could tell you about the, some of the times maybe like the jukebox wasn't working, so I kicked the jukebox and then the jukebox was working again. Your school had a jukebox? Yeah, man. Okay. I could tell you about a time I, I jumped a bunch of sharks on a At set of jets. school? Jets. Yeah. Or you were out of school hanging out with teenagers? I was out of school and I was hanging out with the Fon. No, I was the Fonz. You were the Fonz. I was in the Fonz in this story, yeah. And Ralph Malf yep. was there. Richie Cunningham. Richie Cunningham. Et cetera. Yeah. 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 Terrific. Mm. That's the show this and week. And they were all happy days, just to be clear. Were they? Yeah. That's great news. Yeah. What's the, what's the end of the show? What does that look oh like? Oh, my God. I can't even remember. But, folks, thank you so much for, for, for listening. Thanks for sticking around. If, in fact, you did. Yeah. If you know anyone who didn't stick around, if you know anyone who's like, uh, they've been away for two weeks, I'm not coming back. Uh, Fair I'm, enough. I'm listening to um, 
Reply all if that podcast is still around. That's what it's I'm listening to now. I love doing this. Like I did miss doing it, so mm. it is actually good to be back. Now yeah. we're in the swing of things again. I spent a month dreading this, Mason. Oh, no. no. And it's actually it's good. I love doing this, and I think I, I said this in the last episode, but like, wow, what a, what a great thing that I am able to do because people listen. Very cool. super cool. Anyway, yeah. sorry, go on. Folks, thank you for telling your friends. Thank you. Thank you for lying to your friends to get them to listen. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for leaving a nice review that you can do anywhere. That's right. Five-star review would, would probably be ideal. Yeah. Maybe you've still got Spotify and you can do it on there. Maybe you, you haven't cancelled I mean? your Spotify. <laughs> hey, where do I get you, get you the bloody – tell you what. I tell you, I'm going to look at Spotify. How are we looking? What are we up Let's to? Let's have a look. We are – We've got 4,000 reviews, yep. average of five stars. Fuck uh, yes. Thank you Which I'm assuming much. is the maximum number of stars. Maybe it's out of 10 on Spotify. I don't Honestly, know. Honestly, I don't know. Honestly, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. How do you rate this show, it says? Well, I'm not happy. Not, I'm not going to spoil. I'm not going to spoil. I'm not going to mess with the with, – uh... thanks for everybody who listened to The Best Up, by the way. <laughs> oh, I yeah. Saw, when that came out, I'm like, poor four, f- f- did we do four hours of jokes last year? A lot of, lot of year. Collings put into Yeah, that. right? Yeah, really incredible. Yeah. yeah. I know some people uh, mentioned to us that they like they rationed it out over a span of a few weeks. Probably, I mean, if you like <laughs> the show, it's probably a good idea. Excuse yeah. me, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I got the hiccups. Ooh. What else, Mason? Folks, wait, did you do the reviews? Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, there you go. Sorry, because you, you were doing the Spotify thing, which is a new, right. new thing you're doing. Mm, yep. Uh, actually, I think you've done it. Anyway, this is from Jeff who says, best podcast. You can just do this in app. It's incredible. Uh, this is the only podcast I listen to every week. Seriously good and funny. Check it out if you haven't already. Something, something, witty and funny or whatever. Nailed it. Nice. Uh, it's from Cam Gee who says, the greatest gift of all. It's International <laughs> Podcast Day today. Okay, was it? And imagine my joy and surprise when I ran <laughs> down the stairs and into the living room to find the Weekly Planet starring James and Meso sitting under the podcast day tree. Wow. I can't believe I finally uh, get to have the, a weekly, uh, the Weekly Planet of my very own. I wonder what I'll get next year. Hopefully not another Joe Rogan like last year. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Wow. Uh, thank you so much to everybody who reviews. It really does help. What else, Mason? That's Mason? true, folks. What it's going on, I'll check If news. you want to get into contact with us, you can go to Weekly Planet Pod mm. at Gmail, at Facebook, at Twitter, at Bandcamp. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, you can go to the Planet Broadcasting Great Mates Facebook group. You can go to the Weekly Planet Pod subreddit and Discord. You can have some fun chats about oh, podcasts yeah. and pop culture at all of those places. If you want to support the show, yeah. you can go to patreon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies. You can chuck in a buck or, in fact, any amount you wouldn't miss. Yeah, what are you after? What are you after? Great question. I mean, for you, what amount would be good for you? One dollar? Yeah, I want a million. Okay. Mm. Well, let's split the difference. If everybody could Patreon us for half a million dollars. Okay, yeah. Is that the midpoint? Yeah. Close enough. I think it does have a maximum of like 10,000 or something. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Bloody, bloody. Don't do that, by the way. Yeah, no, don't do that. Yeah. That's no. Sorry. We can't supply whatever whatever amount of entertainment you require for ten thousand dollars. We cannot supply exactly. That. And look, if you yeah. do that, you'd expect some kind of response. And just quite frankly, I'm not going to give that to you. So, you know, <laughs> we will ignore you if you <laughs> if you give us ten thousand dollars a month. No, 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 no. We get what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. And we're not here for it. We're not here for it. Uh, but also, you can go to bigsandwich.co. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, and you could pay nine US dollar it is per month. That's and where get, the big business is. You get bonus podcasts. You get movie commentaries. You get early videos. You get all sorts of stuff. We have a great time over there. Yep, we did Ghost Rider. We did do Ghost Rider. We can check Heck that out. Heck of a time. Heck of a time. Um... We've got t-shirts, t-shirts on tpublic.com. Go. Search for the Weekly Planet. Maybe you should write this down. No, I'm never going to write it down. You did, you did mention that we should put it on a whiteboard put a whiteboard. Point, but then yeah. we'd have to put up a whiteboard. Oh, yeah, we'd have better. to replace the 2021 No Time to Dike no, we calendar. Will not, we will not be no, doing we'll that. No, we'll never do it. We, yeah. We're not even going to get a 2022 <laughs> No Time to Dike uh, calendar. Nope. Uh, folks, uh, you can also, uh, thank you to the Brute and the Basilisk and Rack for all the musical themes. You can thank them for yep. those. I will. Thank and you. thank you to Raw Collings mm. for... Editing this podcast. Editing the podcast. He's Raw Collings on Twitter. He's at The Weekly Planet on Twitter. I am Wikipedia Brown on Twitter and on Instagram. And Nick Maso, N O C K M A S M A S E A U. James is Mr. Sunday Movies everywhere. Uh, that's the whole show. Next week, Moonfall, maybe? I mean, Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes, Moonfall. Snake, snake Eyes. And if we have time, Moonfall. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Anyways, thank you or so much. Or vice versa. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. But thank you, everybody. We'll flip a coin before we get started. See, we'll see which one we do first. Yeah. And then maybe we'll have time for the second one. Then maybe we'll go we from bloody there, won't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming. Who've come back, or if you're new, uh, or you're leaving, that's fine. Yeah, thanks. Just do it we quietly. Appreciate it Just all- leave quietly. Yeah, that's right. This isn't. An airport, you don't have to announce your departure. No, no, you can just quietly disappear. Just, sh- just leave. <laughs> just go. All right, thanks, everyone. Grab that jam, you guys. We will see you 
Next week. And all year. Every week. And Caravan and Garbage Tuesday. On the on the YouTube. Early on the different thing. Maybe you'll see me in the street. Or one of us gives away. Yeah, well, give him a big wave. Hello. Give him a big wave from Maybe his. Maybe you see me in my new little car. Little, or his Zipping old car. My little, maybe I'll be back in my old car for some reason. <laughs> Floating down the river. Oh my god. Yeah. All right, bye. Bye. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I mean, if you want. It's up to you.